Dadah. Dadah. Good afternoon, teachers, and welcome to our stream for today. Okay. 
Um, and uh, this is already the third installment of our um, June series or the Microsoft series. Okay, so maganda magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Uh, kanina meron ako mga ano, no, uh, questions, okay, uh, mga quick survey. So please uh, indulge us teachers sa mga quick survey natin para mas malaman ng ating um, uh, speaker for today you know, where you're coming from and how he, he can actually help and contextualize the sharing for today. Okay? So uh, again, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat, teachers. Na I know sobrang aga niyo po ngayon, pero I'd like still to uh, greet all of you, uh, give you a shout out, teachers, na for this uh, afternoon. Okay? Um, para sa araw na ito. Yan, palitin ko lang yung ano ko. <laughs> okay. So, teachers, uh, let me first greet you with, uh, let me first do, um, put that uh, survey again. Okay? So that um, we can all, okay, let's um, do that one, okay? So while I'm um, greeting you teachers and giving you a shout out, okay, do let me uh, greet you uh, and um, give you a shout out, okay? I'd like to start with uh, Ms. Marites Kabusi uh, from SDOQC. Okay, guru para sa iba, kaagapay, maraming. Salamat. By the way, teachers, no, bago akong patuloy sa pag-shout pag out, please, please pakishare po ang ating link, no? Uh, para po mas madami tayo ma-invite na mga teachers and uh, educators sa ating stream for today. And uh, more educators will be able to uh, to make use of what we're going or mga pag-uusapan natin sa araw ito. Kasi sinisigurado ko po teachers doon na napakaganda at napakadami niyo pong makukuha para sa araw na ito. No? Um, napakaganda ng ating uh, topics. No? At kanina marami nagsasabi no, na beginner pa lang sila. So this is a perfect time. Okay? So actually, this is the perfect um, way no, to get introduced into this uh, different Microsoft tools. So teachers, no, nasa third episode na po tayo. So dapat alam na natin or na-realize natin that Microsoft Office, Microsoft Tools is now beyond just Microsoft PowerPoint presentation, Microsoft Word, and Microsoft Excel. No? Sobrang dami na ng mga bagong tools na present sa atin ng Microsoft Office, lalo na. Ngayong pandemic no mas nag-up pa sila ng um ng kanilang ano no ng uh, ng development no ng mga tools etc. Okay? Let me continue uh, with your with uh, our shout out uh, teacher Ludes kay uh, Santa Juana. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, teacher Daniel um Quinto, okay? Uh, good afternoon also. Uh, teacher Liberty of course, kay as always, kay uh, always with us, kay um, teacher uh, M.A. Abigan, okay, who's uh, giving one to all the three uh, tools today. Teacher Rosario Torrevillas, okay, uh, Teacher Daniel Quinto, uh, magandang hapon po, Teacher Maria Ana Feso Malinog, okay, uh, from Davao City, okay. Um, and, of course, Teacher Marisa Gumabong, Teacher uh, Sheila Nigozum, Mia Maria Casilang, okay, good afternoon, okay. Uh, all one din sa lahat ng sir sa lahat ng survey natin no? uh, teacher Nida Apayart okay good afternoon teacher Joy Rosel uh, teacher Paul Paula Ramilio teacher Roger Pagupat uh, of course no teacher uh, Manolita White okay always here and so active no actually napakaganda ng mga insights ni uh, teacher Manolita White no uh, something to to look forward to of course pastor man is always here with us okay blessing our uh, streams okay so magandang hapon din po pastor manny okay medyo nawala teachers ako sa flow ko ano so please uh, <laughs> i apologize kung hindi ko ma skip ko kayo or hindi ko kayo makita uh, shout out to and anyway, shout out from uh, teacher Mika sanchez teachers from international philippine schools in jeddah in Jeddah, okay. Um, I will be no uh, in Philippine schools in Oman soon, um, from July, sorry, June 29 to July 2, I think, or July 1, okay, for the Google Workspace for Education training of uh, teachers from uh, Philippine school in Oman, okay. Um, na mention ko lang, no? since meron din pala tayong Philippine school, international Philippine school in Jeddah. So shout out to all the teachers right there, okay. And of course, um, from Quezon Province, okay, Teacher Joy Russell, okay, uh, Teacher Orlando Hoven, okay, let me just uh, check this one, okay, um, and uh, of course, okay, Teacher um, Binibining Diamond Gare, no, yan, okay, and um, medyo madami pa, no? oh, sorry, madami na po, teachers, no, and again, uh, do, uh, Teacher, um, Okay, nag-greet ko naman si Teacher Liberty and uh, Teacher Archie Rec, Rec Dumaloan. Yeah, good afternoon. Okay, so teachers, okay, we will no uh, continue further later no um, our um, shout-out to all of you. 
uh, to greet everyone. Okay? Uh, at again, uh, para sa araw na ito, teachers, no, meron na naman tayong tatlong tools na pag-uusapan at uh, ipapakilala sa inyo lahat ng para po sa mga beginners natin, okay? Ipapakilala, okay? Para po sa mga gumagamit na no, uh, ay mas pas palalalimin pa natin at pas dadamihin pa natin no, ang ating kaalaman no at uh, paggamit ng mga tools na to. Let me just uh, put down that comment kay briefly, kay yan, okay? Uh, so teachers again, uh, para sa araw na to, we'll be talking about managing collaboration and sustaining engagement no. So again, alam na alam natin kung gaano ka 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 uh, kahir ka, ka importante no ang uh, collaboration okay and um, also ang um, engagement no? so yung collaboration that's a 21st century skill that we all have to target okay and of course okay uh, engagement no so how do you sustain engagement okay can i uh, hear from the audience teachers no ano yung mga tips niyo no if you're going to be the one who's going to give your tips today okay what are your tips and strategies okay, that uh, will allow okay, or paano nyo na engage or na sustain ang engagement ng mga estudyante nyo? Kasi perhaps that's the most ano, no, challenging, lalo na ngayon, sa distance learning modality natin. No? Kapag nag-turn off ng camera si student, okay, wala na. Okay? Ang hirap na nilang i-engage. No? Or uh, sometimes, pag sinabi ni student, uh, uh, teacher, wala akong uh, connection eh, for today. So, wala na kagad, no? So, it's so easy to to make excuses, okay? Um, so that uh, our students no, lose engagement in our class. So, teachers, uh, please do share, no? In our chat box, okay? You as teachers and educators, what are you doing right now, okay? Uh, in order to uh, promote collaboration and also to sustain engagement, okay? So, that will be what will be the focus of our discussion for today, no? Will be... Um, um, looking at no uh, three tools from the Microsoft Office 365 um, uh, system. Okay, uh, the first one is of course uh, SharePoint. Okay, I already asked that no, and madami kanina na one palang din ano. Uh, at ako personally teachers no, one din ako sa lahat ng to. Okay, so one ako sa SharePoint, one ako sa OneDrive, and also one ako sa MS Forms. Okay, so I'm also excited to learn from uh, our speaker for today. Okay, kasi marami rin ako matututunan. Um, kasi mas babad siyempre ako no sa sa Google for Education tools. Okay? So, excited ako na mas mapalawak pa yung kaalaman ko no, about uh, different tools that promotes collaboration and sustains uh, engagement. Okay. Um, so, teachers, okay? uh, so those will be our three tools for today. Um, SharePoint, okay? uh, OneDrive, and MS Forms. Okay. So, teachers, uh, just like as always, no, uh, wag po natin kakalimutan that um, our um, our webinar for today is a certified webinar, okay? So you will get certificate, pero make sure lang that you get to accomplish para po sa mga bago natin. Although nakikita ko po sa ating chat box, no, na ang dami na po nating mga, uh, mga veteran viewers from our um, uh, live chat ngayon. Teachers, huwag po natin kakalimutan that our um, certification is dependent, no, nakasalalay po yan sa inyong, um, sa inyong, um, um, evaluation. Okay, so make sure po natin that we get to accomplish the evaluation that will be given towards the end of the session. Okay? And then, um, and also please make sure that whenever you uh, accomplish the form, please make sure that you put the correct information kasi kapag mali po yung uh, name, mali din po yung name sa certificate nyo. Pag mali po yung um, email address, magkakamali din po, magbabounce back po sa amin yung inyong certificates. Okay? So that will be, uh, teachers, no, um, some reminders. And of course, okay, uh, for our flow for today, teachers, no, um, we will, just like always, okay, um, we will have a, um, a Q&A okay, uh, midway of our session for today after an hour to entertain your questions so that our speaker for today will be able to address your questions, your concerns, etc. And then we proceed again uh, for the second part of the session uh, for today. And afterwards, okay, we will have like a full panel discussion towards the end. We're in, we're going to have our resource speaker, of course, and I will be joined uh, later, no, uh, by um, by our, uh, by my um, beloved wife, okay, who's also an expert in um, MS um, Office 365, okay, to also uh, discuss these tools with us. Okay, yan, ang ganda ng mga sharing, no. Uh, before siguro tayo mag-proceed at ipakilala ko ang ating speaker for today, let me just first um, uh, this, ano, no, um, highlight no, some of the questions okay, 
as some, some of the insights okay, of our uh, teachers. Now, this is from teacher Luide Santa Juana. Okay? Um, for her, what she does is to do follow-up check-ins when they are absent or disconnected from online class. Give positive reinforcement and comments. Not correct. Na napakaganda nito, Teacher Lourdes, um, uh, na strategies. No? Yung paggagawa ng mga check-ins, no? yung habang nagka-class ka, mag-pop up ka ng, like, for example, mga questions, kay, o kaya mga activity bigla, like mga short five-minute activity, just to check if your students are still there. And also, to always um, keep them on their toes. No? Okay? And, okay, of course, no? yung, ang ganda nito suggestion nito, minsan nakakalimutan natin ito, no? yung pagbibigay ng positive comments no, sa ating mga estudyante. Kasi, uh, napakalaga niya, no? Um, if the students feel um, um, they belong, okay? They're at home, they're comfortable, they're safe in your environment, okay? They will engage, okay? Because the moment they feel that they are like being threatened, that they don't belong, okay? They will automatically, no? Or almost immediately disconnect from your um, from your class. So, napakalaga po. Thank you, Teacher Lourdes, from that suggestion, okay? This is one, this one from a teacher Angelina Carpio Reyes. Okay? Uh, to sustain engagement, make the topic or content relevant to the students. Okay? Uh, provide novel and student interest uh, based activities. Okay? And uh, allow reflection of learning and solicit ideas from everyone. Very ang ganda. <laughs> Thank you, teacher Angie, no, for this. No? Um, I think siguro gusto kong i-highlight dito yung student interest-based activities. No? Napakahalaga, teachers, no? na kapag nag-iisip tayo ng mga activities natin or mga lessons natin, laging sentro doon ay ang ating mga estudyante. So design your activities, your assessments, your instruction around your students and that will um, almost immediately no? make your activities, your, in your um, instructions, okay? Um, uh, ano ano uh, more um, engaging no kasi since iniisip mo sila habang dinidesign mo yon then therefore whatever you have designed is perfectly not really perfectly but uh, most suited for them and most appropriate for them okay this one uh, last one no before i introduce our speaker for today uh, kasi sayang no ang ganda ng mga sharing ng mga teachers natin okay so this is uh, from teacher Manolita White okay and she said okay uh, teachers can increase engagement if they know the students journey individually no Use analytics of pretest to know the next uh, learning steps. Use visual engagement tools. Very, very beautiful insights. No? Teachers, hindi pa tayo nagsistart sa webinar natin. Punong-puno na kagad tayo ng mga kalaman at mga insights. No? This is the community that I love. Okay? Ito po talaga. No? Ito yung pinaka-minamahal natin at pinaka-gusto natin about the Kaagapay Teacher Support Community. No? That, that we all learn uh, and we all share no? these kinds of um of things to our um to our community okay so teachers uh let me now uh introduce to you no um our um our um, speaker for today okay and our resource speaker who will be um sharing with us no um these three wonderful tools okay um one man team siya ngayon ano at uh, unlike our previous webinars na meron tayo ng um, uh, two to three people invited for different tools okay what we now have is this one man, um, my one man team, no, uh, discussing all of these uh, wonderful tools, no, itong uh, MS Forms, OneDrive, and SharePoint. So let me introduce to you, teachers. Okay, our speaker for today, Mr. Andreo S. Ayuro. Okay, um, Andy called, no, uh, I, I also know him as uh, Sir Andy. Uh, is a licensed faculty member and currently the Educational Technology Coordinator of Assumption Antipolo who graduated Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering okay, uh, from the University of the Philippines. He obtained his certificate in teaching from Pasig Catholic uh, College and has taught junior high school mathematics, senior high school STEM mathematics, and empowerment technology. He is also the, uh, the school's Microsoft Administrator for Teams and Security and Compliance. Okay, so let us welcome into our stream for today, Sir Andy uh, Ayuro. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, teachers. And good afternoon, Sir Andy. Or good evening na, Sir Franco. Or good evening na. <laughs> oh, good evening na, no? Um, and welcome, Sir Andy, sa Kaagapay Teacher Support. Okay, and um, uh, we're really excited, no? Um, Kita-kita mo naman yung build-up kanina sa ano pa lang, uh, Sir Andy, no? sa chat pa lang natin, dami na kagad responses, oh, oh. Kay, uh, interaction. Kay, this is actually the community, no? This is how warm and how how much we have 
uh, become a community talaga, no? over a year, okay? Uh, we're close to uh, our first year, no? Um, in Kagapay Tissue Support in giving webinars, no? Our first webinar was set last um, July 4, 2020. So we're like uh, a week before, ano, no? A week um, away from celebrating our one year of giving webinars, okay? So yeah, this is uh, Sir Andy, okay? Um, uh, welcome and magandang hapon sa'yo, no? Siguro, yan, uh, pumasok na din po ang aking um, uh, minamahal na asawa, no? Um, highlight for a while po. Okay. So, Sir Andy, no, bago tayo siguro mag-start, okay? Um, okay, nakakopol shared pa talaga kami, no? <laughs> uh, Sir Andy, bago tayo mag-start siguro, no? Ano ko, kikiligin na naman yung mga audio, ano namin yun eh, um, yung mga taga-kaagapay teacher support. Anyway, uh, teach, uh, Sir Andy, before siguro tayo mag-start, no, we'd like to ask siguro from you um, a, a brief overview, no, uh, kung ano ba yung pag-uusapan natin today at um, ano yung makukuha ng mga teachers natin para sa session na ito. Yan. Ayun. Medyo kinakabahan nga ako ngayon. First time ko. So, before I start and give my overview of the course or the webinar on the three tools that we have, I would like to thank Ms. Jinky and also Sir Franco for inviting me. And on behalf of our institution also. And proud to be a newbie kaagapay, um, ano ba matatawag doon? Uh, proud to be one of the supporting teachers of for 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 our online learning uh, and teaching for Microsoft also. Okay, thank you. Um, so, okay, so ah, ayun nga pa yung question mo, Sir Franco. Yeah. Ay, ano lang, uh, brief overview. Ano ah, yung, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, patikim lang, patikim, patikim. Okay, so uh, I, I plan to discuss about, um, yeah, I, would, I want to anchor the three apps. I'll first discuss, um, Microsoft as a whole uh, suite of tools and also go to MS Forms directly and we will have a break and and I will discuss um, one one drive and one SharePoint because they are related so so yun yung ano natin gagawin natin ngayon but um, ma I endeavor to focus the three apps towards collaboration and management of collaboration and also for sustaining engagement. So, yun yung ano natin eh. Yun yung team natin for today. Ayan. Yes. Ayan. So. Maraming salamat, no, Sir uh, Andy, for that. Ano. Again, doon pala nakakatakab na, no? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> ang ating magiging, uh, magiging session para sa araw na to, no? Um, siguro, uh, uh, Miss Jinky, no? Some few reminders lang siguro. Uh, aside from, kasi meron pa tayong kailangan reminder about the, the Microsoft uh, transcript. You might want to also give our um, audience no, some reminders about that. Okay. Um, Medyo choppy lang ng konti, Miss Jinky. Um, Okay, we're uh, while waiting for Miss uh, Jinky. Now, uh, ito pong reminder for Miss Jinky about the Microsoft Transcript. Don't forget that this webinar will be, uh, uh, no, no, uh, you can get two certificates from this. Okay, so one will be directly coming from Microsoft. Okay, the other one from Kagapay Teacher Support. So please take note that there will be two things that you'll have to do. No, of course, our regular evaluation form for Kagapay Teacher Support, and then you'll have to. Um, uh, use the code no, that will be given by Miss Jinky later and Sir Andy so that your uh, this webinar will also be credited to your transcript and you will also receive a separate um, a separate um, certificate no, from Microsoft. Okay, so uh, please take note of that. Okay, so I think uh, we'll just wait maybe later on uh, from Miss Jinky's reminder. I think nagkakaroon ng problems sa uh, microphone settings. Yeah. Anyway, so let's now proceed. Uh, Sir Andy, we now... Um, you now have the floor, okay? So, uh, good luck, Sir Andy, and uh, teachers, enjoy the session for today. Okay. 
Okay, teachers, I will now start. So my talk today is about um, Office 365, specifically <clears throat> um, forms, MS forms, um, OneDrive, and SharePoint. This is a third um, of the series. So let me start first um, with a quotation. Uh, In times of small instruction-led classroom tend to be the exception. Electronic learning solutions can offer more collaborations and interaction with experts and peers, as well as a higher success rate than the live alternative. This is by Keith Batchman, okay, corporate e-learning executive from WI Church and Association. Okay, so ito yung inano ko eh, about my session um, we focus on collaboration and instruction no with teams uh, i highlighted that one and i put yellow experts and peers and as well as the high success rate okay so what is the reality of the teachers ano yung reality natin okay as um meron tayong pandemya okay we have a pandemic okay online and remote learning tayo teaching okay um some of us work and study from home and we have internet and learning teaching platforms we have the affordance of google microsoft zoom and other apps okay. and we undergo teacher and student trainings and we have new skills and roles and we survive okay it's hard but um, we're doing okay so yan yung realidad ng mga teachers ngayon in education okay um siguro ang maganda sa nangyari ngayon ay we we had collaboration okay we survived because of collaboration um Nandiyan din yung pagiging present natin sa isa't isa, okay? Um, through communication, at saka mga mga 4C skills, okay? It's a 21st century skill. So, ang goal talaga natin for digital collaboration is to collaborate with peers or as a team, okay? Or we start with the cloud or start with the team okay real-time co-authoring or real-time everything so like we have an open communication present and engagement okay so makikita natin na hello Hello. Sir Andy, we can hear you. You're, you're clear. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay. We have open communication, presence, and engagement. So, ang importante sa atin, yung collaboration natin, is we have a team. Uh, hello, hello. Sorry. Yes, Sir Andy. Sir Andy, you're clear naman po. Don't worry. Okay, okay. Sige. Yeah, we're, we're monitoring the, the audio. Thank you. Okay. Um, sir, sir Franco, 10 minutes lang po. Okay lang. Okay lang, Sir. Sir Franco. Go ahead, Sir. Okay, sige. Sige, may par parang ano lang. Okay. Ayun. Okay. Um, sige, teachers. Now, we'll just wait for um, Sir Andy. I think uh, he's going to fix something. Uh, wait lang, sir. sir okay. okay, parang. Okay. Um, and let's just uh, wait for a moment, no? Um, for Sir Andy to, to go back. So, anyway, uh, siguro, doon pa lang, teachers, papatikin pa lang si, uh, siguro, 
let's take this time for us for Miss um, Jinky to already uh, explain to us, okay, um, the um, the things no important important matters, okay, uh, for your certificates uh, or Microsoft um, for your Microsoft transcript. Okay, go ahead, Miss Jinky. Jinky, medyo muffled pa rin yung sound mo. Ayan, hello? Yes, yes. It's now clear, pero may sound, may, ano, may background noise. <laughs> Wait lang. Yeah, that's clear now. It's clear now. Okay. Yes. Okay, go ahead, Miss Jinky. Ayan. So, just like ano, no, the previous two webinars that we had for Microsoft Series, since this is still no, uh, talking about um, Microsoft applications, specifically Office 365 applications. So, at the end of the webinar, no, we will again be giving an achievement code no, to, to our teachers para pwede po nilang i-redeem sa Microsoft Education Center for a custom training. So, yung custom training po natin, si, ang trainer nga po ay si Sir Andy uh, Ayuro. No? So, siya po yung um, gumawa no, nung ating achievement code for that one. So, similar, no, like before, um, they can redeem that. No? Even pati dun sa mga magiging um, team replay po natin, no? pwede pa rin naman nilang ma-redeem. So long as, uh, I think, there will be 200 achievement codes uh, up for grabs. So, um Aunahan na lang din, di ba? So, sana, sana makakuha sila para madagdag din sa transcript nila sa Microsoft Education Center para din um, makita nila, no? makuha nila yung, um, kumbaga, may proof sila no? of the training for these three. Ayan. So, ako actually uh, excited din ako for the training here. Ayan. So, uh, kasi syempre, I've been using no, sa... Um, most of the things that Sir Andy will be discussing, pero alam ko meron pa rin ako mga hindi uh, inaaral about it. So I'm also excited to know more um, para na rin kumbaga mas marami rin tayo malaman. Yeah. I think okay na, na si Sir Andy nasa background ulit siya. So let's uh, welcome back uh, Sir Andy into the stream. Okay. Okay, so yeah. medyo ano lang, sorry kasi yung ano, hindi kasi yung, ano tawag dito, yung PowerPoint, so hindi ko nakahabol. Okay, so I'll, I'll share, I'll be sharing na. Okay. Okay. But anyway, sir, but, uh, don't worry, as we mentioned, we'll uh, notify you if we can't hear you. Okay. So uh, okay. just uh, continue. Okay. Sige. So again, teachers, uh, uh, enjoy the session and Sir Andy, good luck on your session. Okay, sige. So good morning teachers. Okay. Um ang reality realidad ngayon is digital collaborations, no? So ang goal natin is to have uh, collaborate with peers or as a team. Okay? And sometimes we use the cloud mga servers and um, applications to collaborate with the peers or and sometimes we do co-authoring or real time. Okay? So so for digital collaboration, there should be an open communication, presence, and engagement. Ayun yung tinatawag na nating na uh, for attention, curiosity, interest, optimism, and passion. Okay. So one one way to increase engagement is maganda magbigay tayo ng mga engagement prompt. So so I would like to use this um, community engagement framework. No. So sometimes. Um, magbigay tayo ng um, validation first sa mga bata, okay? So, we like to view first, like, share, and correspond. So, parang magpapa-ramdam lang muna tayo sa mga bata or sa mga students natin. And we up the level and we connect to them uh, by giving up documents, pictures, ideas, and sharing. Okay, sharing of notes. And you have to be contributive, no? And sometimes we we give we ask answer uh, uh, we ask questions uh, um, answer out loud okay what where and how and who and why okay so mga ano. and um ang, ang collaboration natin is all about partnership no so we explore we have open ended questions 
ambiguous conversations. And this is the prime um, uh, objective of collaboration. No? So we have to uh, produce something. Okay. So so now I'm going to discuss uh, Microsoft 365 uh, remote online remote teaching and learning. No? Okay. I would like to give you a scenario first. No. Um, uh, five scenarios for for using uh, Microsoft. Okay. One. I am a club moderator for a school publication, and I want my club members to create an intranet site accessible only to the school community where they can share articles, commentaries, and literary works. I also wish they have an online hub where they can collaborate and develop their works. Okay. Yan. And two, my supervisor wants an updated soft copy of my lesson plans for her to review and possibly add some suggestions. This stored in my laptop. I plan to save it in a USB and personally give it to her or better, send it to her through Messenger chat. Okay. I want to measure my students' learning. I also want to get their opinions and feedback about the amount of tasks I give to them every week. And I don't want to stress them out. I moreover, I do I don't want myself to be stressed in tallying the results. Okay. Some of the video files created by my students for our final performance task exceeds 500 MB. It will be tedious on my part if I ask them to send the files as an email attachment. Is there any other way for me to get hold of these files? Okay. And we have, we have a big authentic school project and recycling, and we need to collaborate with other members of the community and other guest experts on the subject matter. We need a central hub for communication, collaboration of documents, sharing of resources, reviewing literature, and planning LGU presentation. An MS team channel devoted to the project in our subject team is not enough. Okay. So it's an unreal that not in teachers also. And we have also Microsoft apps on our hands. Okay. Meron tayong um, a toolkit where we can use for collaboration and sustaining engagement. Okay. For this discussion, I will discuss first forms, then OneDrive and SharePoint. Okay, let's start with the forms, no? Um, ito yung pinaka um, use sa school namin. So sa, sa mga discussions or giving like um, assessments. No? So what's Microsoft Form? It easily captures the information you need. Okay, enrich online learning, engage your students and track their progress with enhanced lessons and assignments. Okay, if you click on the forms, it will be directed here in the, in the dashboard. Okay, so marami tayo mga forms here. Okay, okay. Um, one example I have is this form. Okay. I, I created when I use uh, uh, all my students on how to use Microsoft Teams. Okay. So as a student, what is your preferred way of learning how to use Microsoft Teams? Okay. So as a student, I uh, what is your preferred way of learning how to use Microsoft Teams? Uh, asynchronous training sessions with tasks in the school team channel, synchronous learning sessions with the teacher, webinar events, and lecture. So, uh, kumukuha ako ng data sa kanila about their preference on how to use Microsoft Teams. And I use MS Forms, no? Okay, so, after the responses, I, 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 I have the, the results. Okay, so makikita natin na uh, uh, I have a graph here. And the synchronous sessions, we got 700. 
OT, four, 436 and 47. So this is one example where I can use Microsoft to have a poll um, for my students, okay? Uh, next, I, I want to measure my students' learning. I also want to get their opinions or feedback about the amount of tasks I give to them every week. I don't want to stress them out. Moreover, I don't want myself to be stressed out in tallying results, okay? So forms can give us an assessment for learning, assessment of learning, automatic grade, result summary, collaboration on design, and hassle-free sharing, okay? So makikita natin yung Microsoft form, okay, we can have it um, distributed sa Sway, sa other part like in Teams, okay? So it's, it's a big, okay? So one one way of um, giving forms is we can have a pre-assessment, okay? So pre-engagement, one, and so a pre this is a pre-assessment, pre-engagement given at the start of the unit of study, okay? We gauge. Um, prior knowledge, interests, or feelings and perceptions, and there are no right or wrong answers. And sometimes we create polls and surveys. No, okay. So another one is a formative assessment. We may monitor students' learning. We give them a low stake quiz, and usually assign points but not graded. And we have summative assessment. It measures students' learning at the end of the unit and high stakes. We, have a, we can provide it as a high stake quiz, okay? And it can be graded, okay? So here's one example of our ano, um, quiz. It's a formative assessment in Filipino. Uh, we, can, we had an exit ticket after a synchronous session. The form posted as a link in an MS team assignment or an, an announcement. Okay, I also use um, uh, Microsoft Forms for a teacher training in Teams, and we have some survey and self evaluation or mid training and skills acquisition. Okay, so how do we create a form? Okay, let's go. First, with the five basic steps, no? Okay, um, I wanted to prepare your survey or quiz items and content. Okay, we design and migrate surveying quiz items and content to the forms as the desired question type. We then create and send collaboration link to work on forms with peers and assign sharing permissions and other settings. Deploy forms through communication channels, apps, and assignment. So, so I will demonstrate to you how to create forms now. Okay, so. Okay. So, so when you create the form, um, again, you can have uh, a new form. So we add um, um, the title of the form. So let's have a test, test one. And you can add description here now. Okay. So there are different types of um, choices or questions you can add here. So we have choice one. OK. 
Okay. We have question Oh. Teachers, no. I think, uh, Sir Andy, are we uh, doing uh, with the presentation? Okay. Wait. Na wala, na wala lang share yung shared screen yun. Okay. I'll just wait, so, teachers, no. Until yes, go ahead, Sir Andy. Um, your shared screen is uh, not anymore showing. Uh, you might want to um, reshare okay. that again. Sig uh, sir, Andy, may question lang ako. No? Um, itong mga uh, forms na to, okay, um, can we store it in OneDrive? And then we can um, like uh, put it in MS Teams if we want? Yes, sir, Franco, you can, um, you can store it in OneDrive also. Okay. okay. And... Y yung forms kasi you can distribute it in most of the um, apps like MS Teams. You can post it with the link. Okay. 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 So um, maybe we, we could continue, Sir Andy, with the demonstration of the forms on how to create forms. I think it's the most important no uh, thing that um, our teachers would want to know, no? how to create forms because, of course, um many of them are actually beginners to on how to create but uh, i'm glad no uh that uh it does always the same uh, no? um if i'm not mistaken no? if um based on the google form that i'm using it's very same functionality as well so um teachers uh, you might have like questions already um please do let us know uh in the chat box if you have uh, uh questions okay concerns okay uh regarding ms forms okay um also, Ms. Yeah. Dinky will be here not to, to I am also, also be with the... monitoring the YouTube. So, if my questions are on, I will also be yeah. answering them. Okay, let's go back um, now. Um, I think Ms. Jinky will keep, uh, will stay now with uh, so that he can also, she can also monitor some questions and concerns. Go ahead, Sir Andy. Okay, sige. So, so, pwede tayong maglagay ng, ano, uh, let's say, label, test one, and here. Sir Andy? Yes? Nawala po ulit yung shared screen niya, sir. Okay, wait lang. Uh, wait lang. Medyo na akong confused ko sa'yo, saan. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, share. Tatay sa confused po talaga yung, ano, yung uh, sharing screen. Okay. Yan. Congra uh, thank you, yeah. Teacher Karen, for that. No, trying daw si Teacher Karen magawa ng forms while watching. Okay, good job, Teacher Karen. Okay. So, okay, you're ready then? So, when you have uh, MS forms like this, you, okay, you click another form. Okay, we have a, okay, you put the title. Okay, let's say test one. And it's important also to put a description depending on your your task no so i i can add one choice okay you can have uh, multiple um a question multiple answers okay, okay let's say kunya kunyari uh, what is capital of Rome of Italy. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. 
So we have room. All right. Um, all right. And the Moscow. Okay. So we can also uh, um, ask question text. Okay. Um, uh, you can sometimes, well, what is the purpose of UN? Okay. Okay. And you can add the long answers and GB, you have to require them also. Na-click yata ni Sir Andy yung Live Studio. Na-live na na studio yata ni Sir. Um, si Sir Jinkit na lang, habang naghintay tayo, no? yes. meron ditong we question can to our... Oh, we can answer. Baka may, pwede rin tayo mag-demo na habang iniintay natin si um, Sir Andy. No? Okay, um, okay. So, it's true, Sir Franco. It seems that the same with G-Forms. Meron din palang forms ang Microsoft. My question po is, paano po ma-access ang forms as beginner po dito? Pwede ba natin pakita, Mr. Jinky, baka nalito sila on where to access the G-form? Sige. Nako. <laughs> baka ma-live studio. <laughs> ma-live studio. Ang dali kasi ma-live studio, no? Kasi naka-ano. <laughs> Single screen oh. lang kasi. Yeah. Single screen, yes. Correct. Okay. Ayan. Okay, we'll just wait for uh, Miss Jinky's screen. Okay, at uh, yeah, Teacher Isa, please. Uh, um, yeah. Okay. This is a question Ayan, no? from Teacher Isa, where to? Ayan. So, kapag po beginner pa lang, no, once naman na naka uh, bukas ang inyong um, Microsoft account, no, pwede na po kayong dumiretso. You can type office. So, I will retype it. Office. Ah, sorry, forms dot office dot com. Yan. So, it will direct you to this page already. So, nakaiba lang po yung view ko. Pwede rin siyang nakaganito. Yan. Ganito yung view kanina kay Sir Andy, no? Yung mga nakatiles. So, pwede rin kasi siyang nakalist. So, dito, mapupunta na agad kayo sa kung ano yung mga forms na inyong nagawa. Ayan. Tapos, kapag naman po, let's say, no, hindi pa kayo naka-login, um, another way din po, no, na pwede kayong pumunta, no, is um, dito po, type po natin, ha, yung portal at office.com. So, pag tinay po natin yung portal dot office dot com, it brings you to the portal ng lahat, no, ng mga Office 365 Um, applications ninyo. And you can get it here. Um, I don't know if you can see dito po sa sidebar po natin, no, my home, may Word, Excel, etc. Makikita po natin yung forms dito. Yan. So, pwede nating buksan from here. Yan. So, babalik na ulit ako dito kung ano yung itsura natin kanina. No? Or another option is um, punta po tayo dito no, sa ano ba tawag ni Frank dito? Waffle pa? Waffle icon. <laughs> Ayan, diba? Waffle icon. Di ba may waffle icon din kami? Ayan, so pumunta ka dito, app launcher, and then you will see the different apps. Ayan, so you can also click the forms. So there are many ways for um, for you to be able to enter. And then yun nga, yung pinapakita kanina ni Sir Andy, by default, no, this one is a new update. Uh, 2020 lang po ito nangyari na yung default niya ay quiz. Ayan. So, nag, nakalagay dito plus new quiz. So, but if it's not a quiz, then you press this uh, uh, arrow down, then new form. Ayan. Kasi dati, no, ang, ang nangyayari sa, sa Microsoft Forms po kasi, let's say gumawa ka ng quiz. 
pero hindi pala siya nakarecognize na quiz. Hindi mo na siya pwedeng palitan. Unlike sa Google Forms, no na pwede mong gawin, 'di ba? Sa Google Forms pwede mo kasi siyang i switch, palitan mo lang yung setting, gagawin mo na siyang um, make it as a quiz, something like that, di ba, Sir Franco? Uh, yun yung natatandaan ko sa Google Forms eh. So sa yes, Microsoft, yes, unfortunately, wala pang ganon. No? So kapag make sure mo na pag quiz ka, quiz yung pipindutin mo. Kapag hindi naman quiz, ano dun na? ka sa new form. Ayan. So yun yung ano natin. Uh, maybe that's how to... Answer, no? Yung question natin kanina. Ayan. So, hopefully, siguro, nasagot natin. Uh, one more question siguro, Miss Jinky, no? Um, a very important question here. Um, while we're waiting for Sir Andy to um, to set up his um, shared screen, okay? Um, yes, uh, dito merong question on... Di ba, ito, kay Sir Ernesto Caberte, di ba po meron din corresponding point or points ang bawat item ng test sa MS Forms? Yes, yes, oo. Um, for MS Forms, no, we can set, ayan, no, pwede nating iset, pakita yan mamaya ni Sir Andy, pwede nating iset kung ilang points lalabas yung bawat uh, item. Similar din, no, tapos pwede nating ilagay ano yung mga accepted answers. Kahit sa short responses, pwede tayo maglagay ng answers. And then, pwede pa rin siyang i-manually check. Pwede ka rin magbigay ng partial points. Kunyari, uh, lalo na sa akin sa math, no? uh, may sagot, tapos may kulang. Let's say, kulang ng unit. No? Walang peso sign. Ayan, ganyan. No? Pwede kong bawasan ng 0.5. So, pwede siya. Nare-recognize ang 0.5. But I don't think kapag nagbigay ka ng mga Point twenty eight, point seventy two. Yeah, hindi niya nakaya. Point five at one lang yung kanyang ano yung um uh, partial points na binibigay niya. So yes, may corresponding uh, points na pwedeng ibigay. Yan. I think uh, we can now proceed now uh, with uh, Sir Andy. Sir Andy is back and uh, his uh, presentation is back. Okay, so again, teachers enjoy and um, I'll see you in a while. Oh, okay. Sorry, medyo kinakabahan talaga ako and medyo nawawala ako dun sa ano no sa sa, 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 sa ano ko. But I, I I I will show you my my forms no. Okay. Eh yung kagandahan teachers ng forms sa pag, paggamit namin. Hindi lang sa sa mga test natin na bibigay ito. Marami ring paraan na ibibigay natin, let's say, sa pagkuha ng mga data, hindi lang sa mga students natin, sa kanilang assessment, kundi sa mga mga teachers din. Kasi, alam natin that we collaborate with them also. Okay. Hindi lang also sa, sa teachers, but also sa parents. So, so kung papakita ako sa inyo, okay, isang, isang um, um, ginawa namin ay isang reservation form. So, so kung titingnan nyo, okay, isang use ng forms is to get data from parents. Okay, so instance only. So, gumagawa ako ng form like this one. Ito yung title, reservation forms. And here are the instructions, no? So, ito yung title bar na nilalagay natin. And ito yung pinaka-importante, the instruction of the forms, no? Okay, so ito yung content ng forms and ito yung mga questions and mga types na pwede nating ilagay to get their data. Okay, and ito, I, I, I have an input to text box, okay, getting the name of the students. And I also I have a drop down box to get the, the grade level for the next school years. And we ask them, yes or no, do you intend to enroll your daughter for the next school year? And we can have also an upload file for uh, a question for we can upload the files. And this is the question tab, no? So dito natin dinidesign yung ano natin, um, forms. And we have the other tab, which is the response, and we can get the, the responses here, no? Yan, marami yan. Okay, so 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 pag de design natin, we get first to the question tab. Then dito natin inform lahat ng mga question um questions. Okay, babalik ako dun sa forms, no? Okay, one way to 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 um sustain 
um, engagement sa mga bata is to poll them, to give them poll. So, minsan, sa, sa, katulad nung ginabi ko, um, I can give polls sa mga students before I give, uh, give the lessons, no? So, to, to give, um, to, to gauge their understanding or, or, um, prior knowledge of the lesson, no? Okay. Ito yung ginawa ko nung ano ko. Okay. As a student, what is your preferred way of learning how to use Microsoft Teams? Okay. I just got one question. Okay. And it's a multiple choice. Single choice answer. Okay. And I got responses from them. So kung nakikita nyo, um, ang data na nanggagaling dito can inform my teaching. Okay, so minsan binalagay ko to sa sa bungad ng aking um, Microsoft um, Teams uh, and as a pre-assessment. Okay, hindi to graded, no? Okay, so I can also give them, um, I can view the results and I can give them a summary link. Okay, so a summary link is just um, a link where you can tap um the result the, the 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 students can get also the result when you're you're discussing this to them or sharing this to them so this is one way to collaborate parang ang in-engage ko yung mga bata i engage them first hand muna first hand okay ang tanong ko um ano yung preferred way of learning kumbaga sa sa engagement yun yung paramdam ko muna okay so this this form will help me inform my next set, set of question um uh, discussion okay um this is like um uh, para mentimeter or that okay and dito na kami nagkakaroon ng collaboration okay titingnan mo yung collaboration ay any collaboration dito ang maganda titingnan mo um Guys, ang marami sa inyo nagsabi, you like asynchronous training compared with webinars or with lectures and asynchronous or, or synchronous session. And as, merong meaning yun. And minsan, doon napapasok yung second phase ng engagement. When you ask questions, di ba yung binigay kong ano kanina, um, levels. Hindi na to paramdam. We engage na. So, nagbigay ang bata ng data and ako naman we tend to explore bakit bakit you like a synchronous training so ito yung affordance na binibigay sa atin ng ng teams i mean ng na microsoft forms no so we can get data to inform um our next set of discussions or our next set of collaborative um discussions lectures or learning experience okay so Ito, I, I, I will focus, no? Okay. Um, when you create a test, tama, you have the test test questions there. Okay. And you have, um, ang tawag dito yung mga questions, no? So, maraming questions. This is like Google Forms also. Okay. If you're familiar with Google Forms. Okay. So, uh, you put here the, the title. Okay. I'll just put the title here. Okay. And it's a set of instructions for your for your forms you put it here now and um, if you click add new okay okay um i can have a choice a multiple choice right okay so again let, let's say uh, what is the capital of italy all right so it can be rome okay tingnan nyo merong ai no or parang recommendation na si, si forms no um Dami, pwede ko magbigay ng mga other ano uh, stem or okay so Milan Budapest Berlin okay so so uh, I'm sorry mali pa lang ginawa ko um, hindi pala to quiz no so mas maganda is um, this is not about the topic maybe I can um, 
this is just a survey pala so that's why hindi lumalabas yung mga mga correct answers for for this one so so this is a, let's say a poll okay or a survey nice okay i can delete this one no problem okay i can delete and create another question so so there's a uh, the provision to delete the questions no okay um uh, let's say um do okay we, we we can have a question like um okay let's say uh what microsoft apps are you familiar with okay it's very important okay with okay so this is just there's no correct or right answer i'm just assessing okay so uh, let's say a word powerpoint excel okay and sometimes you can have multiple answers okay uh, for for these questions sometimes mga bata, um they know more more apps uh, more apps um so uh, you can have multiple answers and they can click here so may mga ganong, ano, yeah, i can add other options that let, let's say teams and add uh, sway whatever yun yung paganda ng microsoft suite no? marami tayong ano okay so uh, that's that's one way you know okay so this is a multiple choice question with multiple answers okay and you can also add text okay um describe you can add describe your previous previous um um experience working with working with uh ms word okay let's say again by default, this is a short answer that they can write on a single uh, phrase or the word. But sometimes in an essay form, you you put long answers there. Okay, all right. So don't don't forget if you want them to answer um, without skipping the the question, you put required. Okay, so this is this is important. This is very important. No, so so to avoid uh, mga bata skipping the question. Okay, so. Okay, I want to put this required. So, 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 ito yung mga, ito, this is the question. Okay, um, there are other settings here, like uh, these three dots here. Okay, more settings. Okay, I can shuffle the options, no problem. It will shuffle the options of the that one. Okay, and I can add subtitles for then. Okay, so I can put a subtitle here, let's say, uh, for next training. Okay, next training. All right. Okay. And uh, later I will discuss branching. No, so the one way to uh, no. but we'll focus on creating for the design. That's one one way to uh, no. Okay. Um, you can also have rating. No, this is very important. No, so um, please rate your proficiency. in using tools okay so a scale of one to five okay okay so we have this one so you can have a symbol of stars or a number so pwede kayo mamili for that one so i usually um uh, since since uh, I want the data to be numerical, like and choose number, and sometimes visual they put stars. So, so some students they prefer star. So it depends on sa inyo yan, kung ano. Okay, and other, okay, other questions or that we can provide them. So you can add also date. Okay, please enter date today. Sometimes, kailangan mo lagyan ng ganyan for, for mga quizzes, no? Alright. Uh, okay, so we have... Okay, another one. No? So we go more questions. And we have rankings, no? So uh, rankings. Um, um, rankings, so we, 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 we um, arrange 
the following uh, apps uh, according to your expertise okay so pwede rin ganun they can they can rank okay so let's say word yun, excel and powerpoint okay yan This is a poll, no? Okay. Um, so we have also a Likert scale. Okay. So let's say um, we we agree. So maganda strongly agree. Okay. So may mga questions tayo that probes on their perception. Agree. Okay. Uh, disagree. And strongly disagree. So we have five disagree. Okay. Good. Okay. So you can also remove some options, right? So we all know have um, no uh, category, pala. So so do you like the following? Okay, or are you familiar with, okay, ganito, or, I mean, paano nire-rate pala, no? so. Okay, like lang, okay, or, or let's say, um, lectures, okay, um, group work. Okay, uh, webinars. Okay, okay. Add another statement. So, so there. Ah, do you like? Okay, so I agree. I like the following. I I like. All right. So, and there are others. No. So, like a file upload. Sometimes we need to um, add a file upload. Uh, okay. So we request files from them, okay? So uh, I tend to request a file uh, to be, okay, uh, or uh, upload file here, uh, upload file here, okay? Number of files and the number of limit you set it is then required, okay? And file type, you can put, um, ano lang mga nire-require na file mo? For, for the students, no? Okay, so you can set it there. Okay, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDF. Okay, so you can you can specify, no? So I, I can also, I am willing to, it's okay for me to, to, to get two files from you, okay? So, 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 so I designed my poll, okay? So something like this and definitely there are no responses for for this one okay let's let's take a preview okay you click this one here, preview and and we can answer it okay there John. so you test mo muna yung mga yung questions no so okay so dates and like that okay so so if it's this, this is okay. Um, so collaboration of forms always. Um, um, don't, don't don't forget the words. Uh, design we design it. Um, share. Okay, and put some settings, and also deploy. L later I'll, I'll I'll show you how how we deploy it. Okay, so. Uh, Magpo-focus muna tayo rito sa ano, share. This is very important in the settings, no? Okay, this is the preview where you can test your your forms. Okay, uh, you can provide teams, okay, for added uh, engagement also for your forms. Okay, so be careful um putting uh, two bright colors. Depende sa ano nyo. So, so siguro sa mga sa grade school, maganda meron mga ganyan. Okay, para maliw yung mga bata. And also, for siguro mas formal na for uh, upper levels to use mga um, okay, plain colors for, for this one. 
Okay. So I'll use this one. Okay. So you have a team there. Okay. Uh, don't worry. Uh, you can also uh, provide your own um, image. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, later, they discuss natin yung OneDrive, no? Uh, but I can add images and using the Bing search engine of Microsoft. Okay, let's, uh, Paul. Okay, so again, let's say Microsoft. So you can add there. Okay. Sorry. So, yeah, let's research. Okay, siguro lang. I'll put a ad. Okay, so I customized the team for that one. Okay, Ngayon. So, so, pag preview natin, may ganong layer sa likod, no? So, okay. Um, another one for the preview is, this is the computer view. And you can also get uh, the mobile view. Okay, this is the mobile view in the phone. Okay, so the appearance ng... Okay, um, I'll go back to the share board. Okay, um... In collaboration, to manage collaboration, dapat um, importante sa mga uh, authorized um, respondents lang man natin mabibigay yung ano. Okay, so um, there, there, there are ed uh, options like you can um, give your form only to the people in my organization so they can respond. Okay, uh, so if I'm my organization is Assumption and Tipolo, uh, I can give it to them, okay? Um, or you can also write um, specific uh, people in my organization that can respond. Well, let's say I can uh, uh, I can send it to Miss Jinky since Miss Jinky is in my ano um yeah. so so pwedeng ganon. okay? But usually uh, um, for my students, I we we give one um okay. I'll remove this one. For my students, I, I open it only for people, okay, in my organization can respond, okay? Ayan. So, okay. Um, you can also, this is the link, no? So, if I copy the link and paste it in my, okay. Okay, I, I, I get to the form, okay? Yeah. So, the appearance of the form, so... But, but, but going back also, you can also shorten the URL, okay? So sometimes it's important, so para konti lang yung ano. So, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's copy the URL and yes, it will be uh, directed to the same um, phone, okay? So uh, there are many ways to distribute this or to share this. Form, no? So one one is the link. Um, you can also download uh, what's a QR code. So para mas mabilis yung mga bata ma-access yung ano, they will not type those long, long links or you long URL. Okay. And sometimes you can embed the code um, in a web page or way. Oh, yeah. Okay. So later we will I uh, will show you how how. Use and sometimes as way I said they 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 use uh what's this what this one uh, a code to to embed this one in the okay. so so you can copy that one and also you can uh, send it through mail okay but siguro sa context ng teachers uh, versus a students giving giving this form it's best that uh, you can give them the link okay. Um, sometimes you can um, get the link to duplicate. And it's important eh, kasi na some mga teachers also, they want to get a copy of your form, no? So, I want to give this one and share it to Miss Jinky so Miss Jinky can can use my form, no? My form, okay? Yan. Alright. So, um, I, I have to clarify that one, no? Um, to copy the form, okay, uh, to give the template uh, for her to use for her students naman, okay, and the last link is, iba naman to, yung share to collaborate, so always, uh, pag sa, sa collaboration, laging word na share, no? so, 
So we, we we want to get the the collaboration link. Okay. So sometimes we want people to work on our form. Okay. So sometimes I want your coordinator to yes. check your forms before before uh, no no before uh, you distributing it to the students. It's important. Eh, mal, kumbaga, malinis yan, okay yan. Okay. So I can okay specify um yeah specific people in my organization who can access me i can access all right um let's say uh, miss jink is my coordinator she's not my teacher so i can uh, give access to her okay G -g ganun yung ano eh ganun yung features ng microsoft no? when when we're when we're a tenant like in microsoft so lahat ng employees ng teachers and some staff employees ng assumption uh, they're 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 available in microsoft in our tenants so yeah, I, can, I can i can just type anywhere those who collaboration links so ayan ay, ay dumami na sila no tingnan mo ang dami <laughs> ayun uh, ayan dami nila oh dito yung asawa ko oh, ayun lang so so mabilis uh yung ano so uh, Hindi ka na magi email I mean, email or a chat that go to Facebook. Okay, this is just one platform where everything we can and that's the ano, purpose of collaboration. No? So, so, so when you share, don't forget, um, link lang. Okay, gan lang yan. Okay, yeah. Um, uh -huh. Ayan. Sir, ako, I'd like to add no, dun sa share to collaborate. Ayan, ganun nga yung. Um, process namin uh, whenever we have a quiz or an assessment no, that we have to um, have our supervisors check. Ayan. So we just um, either we get the link, no, yung, um, we just get the link and then send it to our um, department yes. um, chairperson yes. via chat no, ng MS Teams yes. or pwede ring specific access na pumapasok na rin sa outlook nila. So talagang mas bumilis no hindi na siya kailangan may back and forth ng word document bago mo babaguhin, Oo. bago mo ita-transfer to forms. Ganyan kasi dati yung ano natin, 'di ba, yung way of checking din natin. And then mm -hmm. siguro add ko lang din sir yung uh, you shared kanina yung sa duplicate. Ayan. So for mm -hmm. example no kami no how we use the duplication uh, during the school year, no, was when, um, kunyari meron pong isang teacher no, na gumawa siya ng, um, kunyari, peer evaluation niya na forms. Tapos, isi-share niya sa ibang teacher na parang ganito yung ginamit ko, gusto mong gamitin. So, you don't share the link to collaborate kasi pag sinare mo yon babaguhin niya yung buong forms mo, di ba? So, ang kailangan mong i-share ay duplicate para lahat pareho kayo magkaran kayo ng sarili yung copy so very effective din siya sa lagang um, I think we have used it no parang madami din teachers ganon even for evaluation sometimes ang ibang activities ganon yung ginagawa na lang nila na o sige go tapos bigay mo yung result na lang sa amin minsan ganon din yung ginagawa ng teachers natin oh, yan all right. Um, tama si see Ms. Chinky, no? Be, be careful with those collaboration links. Eh. Later, I will discuss, ano, uh, oh, oh, baka framework mag -masend, na... Baka masend mo uh, sa bata yung collaboration uh, <laughs> So, so dear teachers, okay, uh, maganda talaga tong forms, no? So, for you, so maging para maging paperless na tayo lahat, okay? Um, in our schools, you know, so syempre, we are paperless. Kahit yung mga circulars namin, paperless na rin. Okay, mga letters to parents and reply forms. So, so total, nandun naman lahat ng mga students namin. And, you know, mabilis makuha yung data. They just answered the form, okay? So, alright. So, uh, I'll show you one, one, one of my example, no? So, mga test ko sa, sa ano, okay. Uh, this is a quiz, no? Okay. So, hindi ko na ito gagawin. Okay. Alright. Okay. So, okay. Uh, I, I thought, ano, um, STEM mathematics last time. Okay. The way I, I'll, I'll share it with you na lang. But definitely, this is na, uh, we will not use this anymore, no? So, so we have a comprehensive task, no? So, sometimes, ganito yung mga quiz ko. Or, or this is, uh, this is ano na, uh, an assessment for, 
for ano oh of learning na no so this is na uh, summative assessment okay so so uh, i i present the problem okay so yung maganda rin sa no sa forms so if you you add the question um you can also put um images or um videos okay so ayan sometimes i put there and um sometimes yung mga bata they want to give me a screenshot of their solution so yun nga yun yung ano affordance of up, giving an uh, or putting an upload file uh, question okay so upload your excel sheet using the methods okay so sometimes uh, like like in this problem that i ask them to use an excel um app to solve this problem okay and in this case naman screenshot of your solutions sheet okay so 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 yun yung ano natin no okay um and i got the responses here arami sila okay ayan yung mga responses nila okay um i can review their answers okay bubuksan ko na lang yan uh, later sige i can also post the scores so pupunta yan do sa mga sa scores nila when they open again the link okay uh, parang pag when you post the scores um lalabas na yung ano final score nila when they open the link kasi syempre hindi man hindi na nila kayang answeran ulit so that's the one that's the feedback um uh, feature of the ano um uh, forms okay um i can also open the data using excel okay here so uh, hindi ko na open no? pero uh, kasi pa private yung ano but you can get the data here okay so para madali rin siyang i, i organize if you know how to use excel and also to to migrate it to some other platforms or grade books the uh, um that you have okay all right so 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 going back okay and important is the the sharing no okay all right another one is the setting you know share important yan. share and settings okay um settings is the permission no okay um who can fill out this form okay uh, anyone can respond okay well okay can click um only specific persons and bakit kaya hindi ko maano to ah, may info ah file upload only available when only okay so yeah so, hindi uh, ko siya maano um hindi ko siya pwedeng galawin because meron na kong file all right so parang security na lang siguro that you cannot put this um form in public kasi when anyone can respond kahit outsider or kahit um non-tenant can respond so this is an open and you know? so um uh, i can only uh only people in my organization can respond and i want to record the name oh, lalabas yung name dyan. and the one respond per person okay now if you want to deactivate the form you can toggle it here using the accept response so you can accept response okay and you have right or not not accepting anymore okay anymore for this for this form okay let's say and sometimes you can add the start date for the forms okay so you can accept response on put start date and the end date okay para automatic no so kung nakalimutan mong patayin or ano yeah, yeah there's a date there or to time duration for 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 um putting the response or accepting response okay uh, for me i i usually you know uh, toggle this one na lang okay um sometimes you need to shuffle the question but sa uh, most of the times in this syempre you want na <laughs> kung ano yung design nung ano mo yun na yun okay so lalo na sa mga summative test no you want the 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 questions to be an uh, uh follows the uh, specific order okay siguro okay yung shuffle questions for siguro mga formative questions number 5 questions lang no so Okay, you can also lock 
questions. Yan. 1 to 7. Pwede mo shuffle or lock yung may 1 to 7. Okay. Alright. Um, okay. The, the, there are other options. No? Response receipt. Okay. Uh, we can also put um, customized thank you message. Okay. Um, this is one way to um, uh, develop or increase engagement. No? Maganda kasi lagi kang merong mga <laughs> ano tawag dito, mga, ano tawag dyan? mga messages sa kanila eh. Yan, importante yun eh. Laging ano, parang uh, yung, yung communication eh. One way to increase engagement is uh, uulanan mo sila ng mga communication or means, okay? So, or mga reminders, pero in a gentle way, okay? Thank you or so, thank you, okay? Yan. That's, that's, that's how we put presence, okay? Engagement. Um, now, yung receipt, you can allow receipt for your responses after submission. So, okay. And get email notification. Sometimes, pinapatay ko na ito. I don't want, no? kasi I don't want, irrelevant, I don't want to get email notification for, let's say, you have 200 students papasok sa outlook mo. No? So, so, sometimes I don't. No? Okay. Um, but this one, Okay. Um, proof that the responses uh, was submitted, okay, on the side of the res uh, students, okay. So you you click that one. That's on, okay. All right, that's the no. okay the, the feature of the forms, no. Okay. Um. Dalawa, no. So when you go back to my forms, okay. Um. Here's my new form. New form, you usually poll, no. But new quiz is. I think it's uh, like a sum, summative quiz, no? Nung graded sometimes or whether rin formative, okay? So, <coughs> I'll show you some features, no? So, so generally, the questions are, um, I mean, the question options are the same, mga no? Pero may mga certain features na ano siya, okay? So, let's say when you add a question, okay? So, we have a quiz one, okay? Okay, so add instruction, okay? Okay, let, let, let's add a new question. Okay. Oh, ano ito? Ano dami? Huh? Ayun, may lumalabas ng mga choices. Ano kaya yun? <laughs> Siguro mga ano, recommendations yun. Okay. Anyway, let's say... Um, uh, let's say, uh, I have a question. No? Um, let's say... Uh, okay, well, what's the first gospel? Nag-iisip talaga ako ng question. First gospel in the Bible. Okay, so, so let's say... No, that's not an option. First gospel in John. Okay, so let's say John, Luke, or... Ito. Let's say Matthew. Okay, Mark. Okay, the correct answer will be, let's say, Mark, uh, Matthew, no? Okay. So, you 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 put a correct answer there. Toggle it as a correct answer and the rest. Um, sometimes you can give feedback, okay? Display a message when they select this answer, no? Okay, let's see. Tingnan natin kung anong, anong yan. Um, good. Good job. Okay. <laughs> Engagement, no? Okay. Comment. Good job. Okay. So, all right. So, and sometimes, okay, you can also uh, um, toggle some uh, messages for those who did not give the correct answers, no? So, okay. Please try again, okay? Please try again. Okay. Uh, okay. Engagement, no? I know you can do it. <laughs> Mga messages, no? I know you can do it. Nurturing. Okay. So, uh, these are examples, no? Of giving feedback directly from your forms, no? While they're answering. Real-time. Yun yung sasabi ko kanina, real-time. No? Okay? So, uh, one importance of a quiz is um, uh, the forms can automatically grade your 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 assessment so so sometimes you add a point here okay give her one i give him one point okay okay so, all right 
So I click it again. Okay, yeah, that's a required item. And same thing, okay, we have, okay, multiple choice, okay. Um, you can also have a choice that selects from a drop-down menu, okay. Pwede rin yan, okay, so let's say um, uh, the first book of the Old Testament. Okay, sorry, okay. Old Test. Okay, so ano kaya yung first book? Kaya? Let's say Genesis. Okay. Exodus. Oh, Exodus. Kunyari, no? So, bibilis ako na lang, no? Uh -oh. Okay na yan. Okay, <laughs> nangyari. So, okay. Yan. Yung kaya nga drop down, no? Yun nga lang, drop down. Parang nga lang. Usually, use, you, you mga dami. Ano, mga dami. So, I usually use um, drop down kapag mayroong mga ano lang talaga choices fixed choices no okay so please select your answers like that uh, one best feature okay um tama ba ang uh, wish list namin ni Jinky dito sa so, ano forms is uh, sometimes uh, uh, the the forms does not allow um insertion or attachment of images tama no sa sa mga choices no Sayang. I so think choices, Google, yeah. Hindi, yeah, so um, choices, no? Okay. Yun. So, uh, but but in the, ano tawag dito? In the question, yung, ano ba tawag dito? Um, you can add images, no? So, so katuloy ang ginawa ko kanina. So, so Bible, you can add. And from your OneDrive or you can upload Okay, you can add there. Yeah. Oh, usually, sir, ang ginagawa ng mga teachers would be, dun sa question, may image na sila na may A, B, C, D. Oh, yeah, tapos, that's... tapos dun na lang, kumbaga, pipiliin mo na lang dun sa ano. Yes. Parang, parang that's the, kumbaga, yung way around it. Kasi nga, yes. sa choices natin, hindi pa kaya mag-add ng image. Yes. That's, that's one work around na, kumbaga, yeah. cheat natin po. To, yeah, oo, oo, oo. So, once you, ano, uh, master the system and sometimes using also critical thinking or your, ano, mga discarte na lang natin. Okay. And everything is possible, no? Okay, so... So that's that's one one way, okay. Uh, okay, uh yeah, I discussed that one. So so when you preview it, okay. Ah, I forgot pala. All right. So let's let's put okay. So correct answer Genesis, yes, and add point one point and required, okay? All right. So sometimes you need to have an essay question. Okay. Um let's say Ano, ano ba mga question? Basta, if you have a, an essay question, or, okay, you enter the answers, you can add some, um, no, 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 that's not correct answer. So it's a long answer, no? So you put it there like that, okay? Okay, so give them five points here. Uh, depends on the rubrics and if it's, uh, it's also required. Okay, um, sometimes you need to uh, fill in the blanks, the... The second book is okay. Kind of the gospel is let's say so. Add answer, let's say Exodus. Okay, okay so and add, add another answer. So, para okay, sensitive, yeah. So, so maganda. So, we can, can, can do that one, okay. Okay, um, another one, uh, what. Uh, um let's have a choice no so there's there's a math function no? math function yeah yan yan sir lang ano yan yung math scan yan ang wala uh, sa okay. google ano eh, forms <laughs> yes uh, math math function so solve uh -oh. uh, solve what okay solve the following equation solve the following equation or no don't solve uh find x gonna so find yeah x. Kasi sometimes multiple choice na. Okay, ayun. Lumalabas na yung mga ano, uh, equation editor. No? Find X, how do you do this? No? Ayan, so, 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 pwede 2X. 
equals I mean, like, so you can also have log there. Okay, you can you can add the log. So then, ayun, <laughs> lumabas na. Ayun. Ayun, this is the function, uh, ibang script to, no? So switch to math, so that one. Okay, and... And then automatic, nagbibigay na siya ng suggested um, ayun, answers, di ba? Ayan. Ayun, wala diba? nang problema. Oh. <laughs> yes, okay, pati yung tamang yun. sagot. Okay, yeah, oh. Okay, so, uh, dear teacher, lalo na sa mga math teachers natin, yes. um, after the seminar or the webinar, you can explore this one uh, no, also for, for, for your subject. No? So, okay, I put na, again, you know, one, one point for that one. It's not a multiple choice answer. No? So, so, again, so if you want to share, you can share it with, you know, you can post it anywhere in Microsoft Teams and then. Uh, Ayan, sir, try mo nga yung anybody kasi wala tayong file, ano, kung mm -hmm. pwede na ba siya. Ayan, pwede na anyone can respond. Ayun, anyone no? can respond. Ayan, kasi walang file upload. Walang Ayan. file upload tayo. So anyone uh -huh. can respond, siguro. Ayan. Okay, sige. Um, Ako, makakapasok ako. I'll use my other account. Ayan. Ayan. Wala kasi itong Microsoft eh. Ay, meron pala. Tingnan natin. Try mo, sir. Ayun, yun. Try natin. Ayan. Ang okay. difference so, lang, di ba, sir, kapag uh, anyone can respond siya, um, hin anonymous. Hindi mo malalaman kung sino. So, kailangan oh, may oh, question. Yes. Kay, yeah, may first question ka ng name. name <laughs> o kaya name, yung name. email. Oh. Ganyan. Kasi hindi oh, mara-register oh, oh. yung hindi ma email. Yun. Yeah. Okay. So, oh. importante na kailangan, ano, kumbaga may label yung, yeah. yung test, <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, test mo, no? Though, uh, though sometimes when you share it, or let's say put into the settings, no? Okay, any, ayan, okay lang to, no? Any in my, yan. any Pag people. Pag sa anyone, man, wala eh. <laughs> okay, one respond. You know? and yeah. Anyone can respond. Hindi ma, no, uh, nawawala ma siya. Yeah, yes. Hindi ma-detect ng, ng system or mm -hmm. ng, or ng uh, sino man yun. Okay, yeah. anonymous to eh. So, parang sa Google Forms din, di ba? You can share it. Ano? Okay, so practice this. Ano? So, yeah. we'll, we'll so like kailangan, this kailangan nilang, Kailangan okay. maglagay ng question for, for um, email for, o kaya yung ano natin. Ayan, ganun. Ayan. So, so, again, you can post it, share. No? Uh, you can share the link with the QR code, with the uh, ano dito? code for, ano. And you can collaborate with your teachers. No? So, I'll go, I'll go back to my presentation. No? So, Ayan. So, for, ano, parang ganito naman yung ginawa natin, no? Uh, medyo hindi ko lang to na-explain kanina kasi, kasi so Ayan sir, ano daw tayo um, quick Q&A daw po muna tayo yes. no? um, para din maka so I think no, we have given din naman na uh, the fundamentals of the form, oh, oh, yeah. so meron tayong question dito um, ayan. where will I retrieve the form answers, answered where did it go I'm trying to follow the examples. Thanks for the reply. Ah. I am at a okay, loss, sige. really. Um, okay, sige. Um, kunyari, uh, I'll show you one, ano, one, one example. Ito yung training namin nila, Jinky, dati. No? Okay, this is the form. Yeah, um, teacher training namin dati, yung mid-mid, mid-training evaluation namin. So, so the first step is the the form itself. In this time, mo yung mga questions po nandyan. At si ma'am naman. I go to the response tab for a summary of the responses, no? Ayan. Okay. So, ang dami, no? So, na-summarize na yan ng ano. Uh Oo. -oh. Okay. Nandyan, nandyan. Okay. So, ayun. So, depende sa ano, sa... Ayan. I think dito, sir, no? Lalabas yung may option ka to view the responses yes. as a whole 
As or own, yes. pwede rin siyang per individual. Per yeah. individual. So, yeah. yeah, pwede rin yun. So, kapag kunyari, uh, Miss Simeona, gusto mo makita yung sagot ng isang bata lang, then may option ka naman po no, na yes. makita mo yung result niya. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ito po kasi, I think, Paul, eh. sir, kapag kindik po natin yung view result, ano po yung... Okay, siyempre, papasok tayo dun sa details na ng bawat result. Yan, oh, yan. oo. Oops, may pangalan mo ba? Ito yung tiyan, napin na. Ito mga teachers Ayan. namin. So, so, hindi ko na masyado expose yung ano. No? So, Ayan, na, ganyan na lang, sir. Ayan. Ayan. So, this one is now per person. Ayan. So, per meron person. pong option to, sh- to show the answers per person. Meron din pong option to show the answers per question. Ayan. So, at least um, the yes. feedback no, will be easy. Makikita natin yung tanong na um, saan sila nahirapan. Diba? Yung ganon yung ganong uh-huh. type ng question. Ano yung um, sobrang okay na sa kanila. Yan. Makikita natin yung similarities and differences if it's a poll. So, yun po. No? Hopefully, Miss Simeona nasagot po. Ayan. So, Ayun. Yeah. So, so uh, malalabas din yung mga ano, yung uh, moteksto sa isang, isang individual lang. Or, yung uh, go back to the response tab, yung summary na per okay, question. Yeah. question. Like, I also emphasize na Sometimes you want also to share the result to your ano kasi collaboration nga, di ba? Yeah. Okay, so don't forget to read that and get the summary link. Okay, yun naman. Laging ganun, link eh, no? So, sharing, sharing tayo lagi. Mm-mm, kasi we want to give the data also to our stakeholders, okay, to our students, and also to guide also yung mga trainings and seminars natin. Okay, so, so ito, ito yung magandang, ano, magandang... Um, affordance ng sistema. Mabilis din. Okay? So, so, so going back, tama, we can create a pre-assessment post, okay? Formative assessment and summative assessment. Ito yung um, ginawa ng isang teacher nga namin sa so formative assessment. Um, it's it's an exit ticket ng synchronous session na, na nila sa Pilipino. And, paano niya to ginawa? Yung link, remember, the copy the link, pinost lang niya sa MS Teams sa isang discussion sa MS Teams. No? So if you're familiar with MS Teams, um, lagay ka lang ng link doon and everyone can can answer the quiz. Okay. So, syempre, may mga permission din yung mga teams. So si, yung ibang section, di naman mabi, makikita yung, ano, yung quiz. So, tamang timing rin lang ng pag-post din ng mga ano para hindi malik yung mga question or yung mga quizzes natin. Okay. Okay, ito, ito yung quiz. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nano ko na. Okay. Ito, ito yung inano namin, ang self-survey acquisition ng ano namin. Okay. Um, yeah, we're done with this one. Um, one. One technique also to, to um, create or increase engagement to your students also is using branching logic no so by adding branching logic to your survey quizzes okay changes the set of question based on specific response so nagbabago din no okay so medyo uh, pag nagkawa tayo ng forms parang lahat kailangan ito lang yung tanong parang ang 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 framework natin is parang yung typical na pen and paper na ganun no? like pero hindi eh. the form has, can can adjust to to the answers of the students and nagmumukhang customized yung learning nila. I'll show you uh, later an example of this now. So going back to 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 my ano, sorry. Sir, may isang question pa dito no oh, habang sige, papunta sige, kayo sa ano, yeah, yeah, branching. Yeah. Ayan, so yeah, para branching. masagot lang natin um, sa view results ng MS Forms makikita ang results ng tests. Paano ko po ipiprint ito para merong hard copy ako for MOVs ng portfolio ko? Ayan. So, ah, para copy. dito, no, okay. Ms. Lourdes, um, if individual po yung ipiprint po natin, may option to print the responses. Yes. No? Meron uh, pong, pag nandun nice. po kayo sa view results, makikita nyo yung per person. Actually, even the questions, pwede din. Meron lang pong pipindutin na 
um, ellipses, tapos meron na po siyang option to print okay, yes. responses. Ayan. Okay, pwede mo ba? Ayan, sir, pakita uh, yan, mo nga. Ayan. Ayan, ayan yun. Ayan. You so, yun lang. You print the response. Yan. Ayan. So, okay. ayan, and lalabas then, na sa... lalabas na siya as PDF. Ayan. Ayan, yun. Ganun na po. Maaba nga lang, no? Yeah, yan <laughs> lang. <laughs> Kasi makaba yung forms natin na yan, sir. <laughs> so, okay rin na may may kopya kang papel to show the yeah. ano. Pero kung marami kang students and may yaman ka sa papel, medyo. Oo. Pag, kapag, okay. I think, pwede yeah. namang magkaroon ng digital portfolio, di ba? Yes, kung sakali. Pwede. Yan. So, Miss Lourdes, di ba? Para baka may, um, hopefully, dahil nasa online naman tayo ngayon, no? baka rin pwedeng may option na digital ang pag-submit natin. Para hindi yes. rin sayang yung papel. Imagine nyo kung mm-hmm. madami kayo estudyante, tapos ganyan, di ba? Or ipapapasa mo sa kanila yan, mahihirapan din po sila to, um, to do it as well. Okay, Ayun, no? sige. Tama, yeah, sige, sir. Okay. Tuloy mo na si branching natin. Uh, Siyempre, um, for, for me, let's say if I'm knowledgeable in Excel naman, and I think na discuss na rin. You can also organize yung mga results using an Excel. No? So you can download the Excel or open here. Okay, sige, open ko ng konti. Sana ma-open siya. And... Okay, so ang daming data. No? Okay. So, data privacy. Yun, ma- I-, I can, ano, sige, ano ko na lang yung mga names, no? So, yun, ano ko na lang. So, we can have all the results here. And since this is a poll, same then, you can have um, the results of quizzes um, imported or exported to Excel or for your organization um, or... Siguro, ito in preparation for a transfer to your, let's say, another grade book. Okay, so nandito lahat yan, okay? So, g- g- ganun yung ano ng, my- ng Microsoft for, for us, okay? So, I'll close that one. And it's important also, siguro kapag pos- posterity or for archiving purposes, Siguro magagawa ka na ng ano, next school year na, kumbaga, may new set of students na. Better to siguro save na lang yung Excel rather than the the form, okay? With the, ano, um, para at least yung data para nasa yung, yung ano, okay? So, for me um, personally, I prefer op- um, saving the Excel, alright? So, so, so I'll discuss to you branching, no? So, going back to branching, ito, uh, I have an example. Okay. Ito. Okay, so these are my posts, no? So these are my recent posts ang iyari, no? Okay, uh, these are the posts shared with me. Okay, yan, yan. Yan yung mga forms na yan, sa akin yan. Uh, I mean, shared with me. We collaborated, okay, on these forms. And uh, not necessarily sa akin lahat yan, Okay. So, paano mo malalaman kung yung forms ay talagang sayo or ano po? Kasi parang nagaluhalo na sa dashboard na ayong sayo at yung shiner lang sayo. So, uh, when you go back, I uh, go down and you can click this all my forms, no? Eh, yan. Lahat yan ang forms na ginawa mo. Okay, yon. So, uh, also, I can also have some deleted forms. Okay, so importante eh, to be conscious kung ano yung mga forms and mga deleted forms mo. Okay, so sige, for next school years, pwede mo rin gamitin. And also to deload the number of forms in your account. Okay, so uh, where's my Excel? I, I, I have PIN. Okay, ito yung importante yung PIN. Yung mga favorite forms ko. So I, let's say, yan. Okay, I, 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 I favorite yung, I can add this to PIN. Okay, yan. Pin yan. Para at least hindi na sila halabo-labo doon. Andito lahat ng mga crucial forms na inaano ko. Okay, um, this one. I'll, I'll show you an example. Okay, a quiz with branching. Okay, the topic is data privacy. No? So, one example is to, to customize also the learning and let the form give its feedback to mga students. Okay? Uh, oh, so, iba-iba kasi minsan. Eh. So, when I preview the form, I like this one. Okay. Uh, what are the four general principles uh, in collecting personal data? So, the, I think the correct answer is so, kanyari. Ayun. Oh, Ayun. So, next question is, 
um, should we report data breach? Um, yes. Okay, describe the procedure in reporting data breach. Uh, so, tuloy -tuloy questions. No? So, I can, uh, so can, I can put them. Uh, and I submit it. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Okay. Um, I go back. Okay, uh, I'm another student. Okay, I answered this one. No? So, consent. Ito yung tama eh. Okay. And I put it here. Okay, ito, ito yung mali, mali tong first one. So, ito. Oh, may lumabas. So, parang nagcrack o roon tayo ng video presentation. Okay, parang intervention na ay nagkamali ka eh. I need to review you on this question also. So, if I have the review, then answer ulit based on the, the, the ano. I have check na. Ah, tama. Yung second nga yun. Based on the video. So, so kung titignan mo yung engagement din, no? tumatatak sa bata yung ano. Okay? So, parang tumatatak. Okay? So, yung, yung activity na ito. Pag, yun ano niya. Okay. So, para siya mali siya eh. So, pwede, ay, ay sorry, I forgot. Siguro, you can add here a comment or a feedback that it's wrong. And... You can you can put it here, okay? Direct him here for a retest, kumbaga, of the item. Okay, so so tama na siya. Okay, uh, next question. Nyare, um, yes, yung sagot. Pero feel ko no, will will not report a data breach. Oh, yun, may in another intervention na naman. Pakibasa to, no? Uh, I think you're you're wrong. So pakibasa yan. So babasahin niya yan and state the. Uh, Reason. So this is our intervention. So to make customize yung, yung customize yung learning approach. Um, dear teachers, medyo this is a very unconventional way of creating uh, a form. Pero I think this is uh, very engaging also. Okay, tunutulungan rin kayo ng forms para matuto yung bata. No? Uh -oh. So definitely, this is not a ano ba to? This is not a summative, no? Wala yeah, grade. formative, formative siya. Eh. Yes. Oh, ayaw akong i-grade eh. At saka ang hirap uh -oh. naman mag-grade kung may mali siya tapos. Uh, <laughs> kung okay, lahat sila siguro, pwedeng i-perfect. <laughs> oh, siguro sa summative, uh, tatanong ko ulit to. But a different item mm -hmm. or yun. So, 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 yun yung import, importante yung ano nang... Uh Oo. -oh. Ang maganda rin, sir, with the branching okay. kasi is um, pwede magkaroon ng individualized oh. learning. Mm -hmm. no? Yung, kung alam mo na tong topic na to, you can answer it fast. Kapag yes. meron kang hindi yes alam, meron kang, ay, kailangan panoorin mo pa to, or ah, kailangan yes. basahin ko pa to. Ayan. Yes. So, yun okay. yung maganda sa branching talaga. Mm -hmm. So, remember, we're using force now. We collaborate with one another. So, technically, syempre, ang goal ng collaboration natin is to achieve those learning goals natin sa mga yeah. no? okay. Yun yung importante kasi dun, learning goals. Eh. Okay. And one way is to get data from them. And yung affordance ng technology na the, the data, the auto Automation of grading and giving feedback also helps the teacher. No? Okay, for for ano? Okay. So, Ayan, yeah, sir. Uh, so, oo uh, oh, no. Okay. Alam ko ang dami pa talagang magbibigay so, natin sa forms, no? But uh, sadly, no, we have to move on, no? Pupunta na po tayo, no? Para meron pa talaga kasi tayo dalawa, no? Yung ating uh, one drive okay. yes. at yung SharePoint natin. Hopefully, yung atin pong mga um, maybe no tignan natin if there is a need, no, in the future na magkaroon ng mga uh, more um videos or something about uh forms no then definitely uh, kaagapay no will will do something about that po para po masagot din yung mga questions natin so sige sir okay. baka kailangan niyo ng break pa or game na ba tayo punta na kayo agad sige, sa sige. Oh, pwede tayo magsimula jump na, na. ayan or, sige okay. or or ano yung, sige pwede muna tayong uminom ah, sige yes, sir sige natin. inom ka din muna para ano oh kasi medyo kanina <laughs> na nagpapalpitate din ako sa so pwede <laughs> na po or ano okay, okay lang yan sir okay so um sige okay naman so learning experience also Ayan. Sige sir, mga quick quick water break din po muna okay, siguro sige. tayo. Ayan, okay. para ano, para maka-ready na sila. Ayan. Ano, Sir Franco, kamusta ang ang MS Forms natin? Nako. Uh, I think marami na naman tayo mga teachers 
<laughs> Dili pa dating shares by the way no I, I think we see the need no kasi ang dami mo pang pwedeng tingnan tsaka i-explore sa MS form so we'll just teachers know we'll definitely find a schedule for a complete walkthrough ng MS forms para talagang yeah. step by step teachers no uh, we apologize na syempre baka may iba po na masyadong nabibilisan or ang dami pinapakita hindi makasunod teachers no because this is basically an introductory to MS forms okay so what really we went to do now is to introduce to you because okay uh, the, the idea okay that uh, madami sa atin ano um uh, ay ano pa rin no nakakulong pa rin dun sa idea ng eh, ng Microsoft PowerPoint uh, Microsoft uh, Word tsaka Microsoft Excel pero teachers nakita niyo ngayon that Microsoft has like long expanded no uh, beyond okay, those three um, monumental kasi monumental talaga yung three tools na yun no? parang hindi ka pwedeng nabuhay sa mundo na hindi mo kilala yung tatlong <laughs> tools na yun um, lalo na kung teacher ka no? at lalo na kung naging estudyante ka you will definitely uh, get to know the pero teachers na ito nakita nyo na uh, MS Forms mamaya makikita natin yung one, one uh, SharePoint tsaka OneDrive which are equally powerful tools as well okay um for 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 ano no for uh, for us teachers to use okay so i hope na next to introduce naman namin ano and uh, again for those who are looking forward to uh, a more comprehensive we will have another session for that okay yes no mukhang grabbing brain works na naman <laughs> maraming salamat no uh, yeah may uh, oh, yeah, napaka comprehensive ng paliwanag daw ni Sir Andy. Ano yes, ang dami oh, no, talagang well ano well yun? Yun natin, Yes, oh, actually, kumbaga nagpigil pa yan si Sir Andy kasi hindi pa niya pinakita, 'di ba, kung paano mo siya ipapasok sa um, sa MS Teams, 'di ba, yung um My integration. Oo, oh, oh, si Franco familiar yan kasi syempre yung mga daughters namin ng quizzes nila naka MS Forms din, but they don't have to click a link. No, they just go to their assignment tab. Tapos nakadiretsyo na po doon. Even the time, even the schedule, yon doon na agad lahat yun pumapasok. So, may mga questions kanina, sir. Um, yes, sir, talaga na, sir Franco. <laughs> may mga questions na ano, ng, um, na-incorporate ba ang math solver? Um... Meron na po kasing math equation mismo ang Microsoft. So, automatic pwede na po yun doon. So, long as it's a quiz, lalabas po yung option for uh, to, to input for math. Ayan, lalabas yes. yun. Yes. Correct. Uh, marami sila. At actually, na, natutuwa siyempre yung mga math teachers natin kasi sa'yo sa pinakamahirap nila pag ginagawa nila yung mga forms kasi they'll have to... Um, uh, to ano to insert those mga equations pero again nakita natin kanina no and and na okay it's uh, fully embedded no uh, into the form okay so i think uh miss jk you know ready tayo for our um uh, um for our second part okay which is sharepoint and onedrive okay these are two powerful tools for collaboration so let's welcome back no uh, sir um, sir andy okay back into our stream for the last, for the second part of our session para sa araw na to. Nako, ang dami pang pwedeng i-discuss tungkol sa yeah. forms. <laughs> yes. Di ba? Ang dami pang pwedeng i-discuss. Oo. Oh, yeah. So, Andy, um, they're looking forward na to a comprehensive, no, um, like, dedicated webinar for MS Forms. And we will definitely mm-hmm. give that to our teachers, no. So, schedule na kagad natin yan as we always, okay, we'll find, no. Uh, although, uh, teachers, no, puno na po ang July natin, okay, uh, because our July series has been set already, okay. Mamaya, uh, we'll give you a sneak preview about our July series. Pero, uh, for now, let's uh, hear from uh, Sir Andy about SharePoint and um and one drive okay uh, for for the last or the second part of his session for tonight okay sir andy okay. Uh, b- before tayo siguro mag start no uh, para lang we set up in a like a, a very clear uh, way can you give us like a, a brief idea first kasi ako personally wala akong idea okay um uh, or kayo tayo ko nga si si miss jinke no miss jinke no ang ulit tong tool na to can you give our audience sir uh, andy no and also miss jinke siguro kung pwede din what is OneDrive, okay? And what is SharePoint, okay? Uh, siguro in layman's term, para, mm-hmm. yan, example, sudyante nyo ako and gusto nyo akong turuan, ano tong mga tools na to at para saan to ginagamit? Okay, bago kayo mag-start, Sir Andy, go ahead. Okay, sige. Um, yung OneDrive, para siyang digital USB mo. <laughs> digital online USB pala, okay? 
So it's a cloud-based app for you. You can store your files and personal files, drafts, documents, and all other files that you want to share with other people in your organization or the community, greater community. So ganun yung OneDrive. No? Um, comparing it with SharePoint naman, ng key point, ay, keyword doon or key ano doon is yung share eh. Kasi it's somehow like, magkapatid yan eh, OneDrive and SharePoint. Kung titingnan mo eh. Yung uh, nagkakaiba lang siguro sa paradigm. Sa itsura. Na, <laughs> yeah, itsura. Oo. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Pero yung, ano niya, yung, kumbaga, ano ba tawag dito? Yung design ni Microsoft, halos pareho lang. Ang scope niya, like OneDrive, is me. Ako lang, ako. And SharePoint is, kumbaga, us. Kumbaga, or we. Tayo. Kumbaga, we share. Parang ganun yung ano niya. Ang maganda kasi, pag ba, when you use apps, you have a specific framework na nasa utang. Kasi minsan, hindi naman ginawa ni Microsoft yan na hiwalay-hiwalay. Gusto niya talaga i-integrate lahat yan and also lahat ng, mga, ng Word, Excel, na yung mga classic, <laughs> classic, na classic tools ng teachers. And these are the new innovative tools na, yes. na like yung mga ano. And I think ganun din ginagawa ni, siyempre, no, Franco, yung ni Google. Naingit, naingit nga ako, may chismis yata or totoo yata. Nag, nag ano rin sila, nagle-level up na rin sila. Ay, madami, <laughs> madami siyempre. Madami. No? Pero sir, we'll, we'll have that uh, for oh, other oh, session. Oh, <laughs> Pero anyway, Sir Andy, tama ba ako? Para lang bago kayo mag-start, no? bago ko ibigay yung floor sa iyo for your session, okay, tama ba ako na pagkakaintindi? Si, uh, si OneDrive is basically where you put your files, no? and automatically mga ginagawa, mga pwede mong mga ginagawa, for example, sa forms, sa Microsoft PowerPoint mo, sa Office 365 mo, are stored in your OneDrive. Okay? Mm -hmm. Tama po, no? Itong si SharePoint is like a shared um, storage kung saan mm -hmm. pwedeng mag maglagay ng files, no? Ang multiple users, uh, hindi mm -hmm. lang ikaw. Kaya ang tawag sa kanya ay SharePoint. Okay. Kasi, so, Andy, sige po, uh, since uh, medyo ano tayo, syempre, ang dami natin ano, sa, sa forms, ito. no? <laughs> Let's now proceed, okay? Uh, for the next 45 minutes, no? For, um, to SharePoint and OneDrive. Again, teachers, patikim pa lang po ito. No? Kapag biglang kailangan ulit natin ng a longer session for SharePoint and OneDrive, we will give it to you. Pero for now, let uh, Sir Andy no, give you like the surface, like uh, like an introductory uh, fundamentals of SharePoint and OneDrive. Take, away, take it away, Sir uh, Andy, and good luck. Okay? And teachers, okay. enjoy. So, 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 importante talaga na we, we see the difference or of the SharePoint. And um, I suggest that teachers also use them. Okay, kasi um, they're a big help talaga and collaboration and engagement with our students. No? So, uh, yun nga, sabi ko kanina kay Franco that it's important to, to have a framework for, 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 ano, for the usage of these apps. No? So, in collaboration, syempre, um, when we engage, yung, yung nga una, paramdam ka muna, no? Okay, hi, hello. O, pag nag-reply yung isa, magbibigay ka na naman ng mga ano, document. Please review this. O, it's a file, di ba? Okay, sometimes kasi yung files na sa atin, hindi naman nagsistay sa atin, eh. Uh, nawawala yung rinsan yung value niya pag hindi natin sinishare sa iba kasi due to collaboration, no? Well, kasi remember, in collaboration, ang goal natin is to have an output, okay? Uh, output, a shared output, uh, kumbaga, each one contributed to that greater goal or uh, output. No? So, uh, maganda tong, ano, maganda tong framework, no? So, so you, you always uh, uh, view yung sphere. <laughs> No, like Sir, core. hello? Uh, pwede po ba nating i-hide yung... Ah, sorry. Uh, ayan, para makita yeah, no, nila. Ayan, okay. Thank you, thank you, Ms. Lee. Ayan, yun nga pala, kitang-kita. Oh, sino yung core? Ang core, ako. Uh, 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 it starts from me, eh. Siyempre, like, it starts with Miss Jinky, it starts with Miss Sir Franco, no? Kung titingnan mo. Okay, revolves around the individual. Siyempre, ikaw naman tayo, gumagamit ng email, notes, files... 
task messages calendar. Oh, sa personal sa atin 'yan eh, personal sa atin 'yan. Okay, so sino yung mga apps na nag-aano diyan? Eh, yan. Si Outlook, si OneDrive, si Notes, OneNote and and hindi ko, hindi ko to alam kung anong tong isang to, <laughs> forgot. Okay, anyway. So so yun yung mga files natin. And the next level or next ano, kumbaga, um next circle. Kumbaga, yun yung mga circle of friends mo, no? Inner circle of friends. Okay, sa so I can category can siguro yun yung mga bandmates ko sa school <laughs> or ka department ko sa math or ka department ko sa senior high. Ah, siyempre kasama diyan yung coordinator ko and some other ano, yung inner close circle mo, no? okay? Yan. So, sometimes you send messages to them. Hi, hello on a video. Diba? Nag-share kayo ng calendar. Diba? File sharing. May, may ka-chat-chat. Lagi, chat. Yan. And all this one. All, yun, kanina sinasabi ko kanina. Co-authoring. You know? so, binigay ko si Jinky na isang ano, word document. So, this activity okay, um, is present or in your inner circle of friends. Okay? So, meron pang outer. Okay? Yun, outer. Sino kaya yun? Siguro isang um, isang staff sa opisina, ay sa school namin, but not directly. I don't work uh, directly with him or her. Okay? But definitely, isang lang goal namin since we were one institution, no? Okay. Uh, example for that, sig siguro is yung register ng school. I don't work naman for her. So, medyo outer na yon. Okay. Siguro yung mga ano, sa library, I don't work on that. So, so, so those are your outer groups. No? So, syempre, um, you share naman ano, social learning, self, may minsan kayo ng training, same social engagement. Okay. You receive the same news okay, or announcement from the school. Syempre, same same calendar. Okay. So, sometimes common interest same kayo ng party or same ng mga ganun. Attend the same party or Christmas party. Ganun. Okay, so those are other. And on the vast uh, other sphere, kumbaga, so yung open, external communities. Okay, sino yung mga di mo rin kakilala, open yan. So, pwede yan. Pwede mo naman wish yung maging kalala. You can collaborate naman with them also. Okay, so... So what's the difference between one note? I sorry, one drive and um, SharePoint. No, okay. Specifically, tina mo, di tina. Um, one drive, uh, okay, focuses on the individual. While SharePoint, o pweding pweding sa inner outer. Okay, dito siya. Alright. Okay, so pwede nga. So kung titingnan natin itong outer, this is, kumbaga, kung sa context namin ni Jinky, this is assumption ng Tipolo. So this outer. Okay, so maybe the open community siguro, yung mga partner schools namin. Ganun. Okay, so so we connect with them through Twitter or ano. Okay. So let's, let's, let's focus on that framework. No? So one drive, ang gagawin natin, um, use OneDrive as your personal ano, uh, hard drive, kumbaga. <laughs> okay. Um, not the physical one, but the cloud base. So, so we have a personal file, initial drafts, okay, before they're uh, ready for sharing. So, dito ko muna gagawin lahat. The privacy of me working on the file alone. Okay. So, dyan, dyan ko lang muna lalagay. And siguro, if it's ready na for the consumption of ano, I can publish it in using a SharePoint site, okay, a team or a group site, okay. And remember, um, ang Teams is also a SharePoint site. So, so kung titignan natin yan, okay, so kung, um, yung Teams kasi is parang, yeah, it's also a workplace for sharing, okay. Siguro, uh, deployment lang is channels and ano, um, channels and banners. But in SharePoint, different yung ano. But we can consider SharePoint as the primary storage or primary site for MS Teams. Yung mga Teams na ginawa natin. Okay? 
So um, they can collaborate here also as a SharePoint. And also, you can use SharePoint as a publishing site, a communication site. No? So uh, like an intranet site where we can post messages, okay, publish something, okay. All right, so ito yung ano natin, Office 365. Well, my files, I'll put it here muna, OneDrive. Okay, Teams files, it's set in ano, uh, Microsoft Teams department files. I can also use SharePoint. And in the context of us in school, mga department files namin usually nasa MS Teams. But technically, uh, it's also shared in SharePoint. Okay, so ganon. So technically, to team files na to nasa SharePoint. And there are other ano, um, apps that you can also store like your videos for MS Streams. And that can be uh, a topic for another day. And like, ano, friend. Okay. All right. Um, eto mabilis lang to. Um, this is the life cycle or circle of life of a document, no? So, um, mas maganda yung work files mo nasa cloud, nasa OneDrive, no? Okay, kesa nasa USB, nasa, nasa computer mo, no? Okay, kasi palipat-lipat ka, ganyan, ganyan, USB, hihingi sa'yo, ganyan. But if you're part of a community, uh, Microsoft communities, just a click away na lang to share. Okay, hindi ka na mag magka-copy, delete sa USB or hanapin pa kahit saan yan sa hard drive A, hard drive B. So, um, I want teachers also to use OneDrive because this is free. I'll take note, ah, um, if you're a Microsoft A1 account or A3 account, um, in like this, you you're, you're entitled to one tera to five terabytes of yeah of uh, ano storage. Ang laki no, no? five tera. Technically, pir uh, if you have Nala one tera, oh, yes. Uh -oh, okay. Naalala ko, sir, when yes. we visited before uh, one of the yung mga schools no na okay. hinahandle na talaga na Microsoft. Sabi siya sabi nga nila, it's a uh, one tera pero technically only yan. Parang yun yung parang yes. press release lang daw ng Microsoft yung 1 tera to 5 terabytes. Pero ang tutuusin, unlimited yung storage mo kapag meron ka nung uh -huh. um, A1 or A3 account natin. Na, yung mga teachers natin, meron yan, di ba? So, very lucky talaga siya. Uh, oh, magic number is 5 terabytes. Tera. Yeah. Ang, tera. ang computer ko is 1 tera lang. <laughs> Pero 5 tera, no? Uh, I think... Um, Alam mo, turuan ko kayo paano malaman kung ano yung account niyo or uh, yung ano. So kung nila, kung 1 terabyte 'yan, you ask your admin to increase it to 5. Pwede yata eh, pwedeng gawin 'yon. Uh -oh. kasi parang usually by default 1 lang, pero you have an option to increase it. Okay, lalo na. Pero malaki 'yan, ha? malaki tayo, malaki 'yan for for a site or for a for an allotment. So uh, the best way is to store first your your files useful or need privacy when drafting documents no okay you draft first on the one drive or sometimes you work on it na on a sharepoint site mamaya de 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 sasabihin ko sa paano sharepoint site like a team site or a communication site now if you're ready then you collaborate on a team site yeah so ms teams okay and remember um, pwede kang mag-co-authoring, no? Real-time, eh. Parang Google Docs din. Uh, yung mga words. Pag minang words, pag in-open ni Jinky, and she can, she can, can, ano, can edit it, no? I think naranasan naman natin lahat yan. Ganun na sa team site. Ganun din naman sa OneDrive, no? Ang problem lang kasi ng collaborating on OneDrive is, um, paano pag umalis yung teacher? <laughs> or, di ba, nawala, wala na yung, ano, yung account niya. Mawawala yung kinolaborate niyo. So, mas maganda migrate it into something common. That's why it's called the SharePoint. Para nandun lagi. So, hindi mawawala. So, if uh, I left the school and I I don't have uh, anymore an account deactivated na, yung file na shinare ko kay Jinky, we work it in a same site, nandun pa rin. Okay. So, yung OneDrive, syempre, buburay niyo. Okay. So, kung si Jinky, hahanapin niya yun, 
nag wala na ako eh, hindi na niya ma-access yung ano yung pag inano na ng admin yon so Ayan. yes yun yung yung ano um, lang no so kumbaga eh, hindi naman sa collaborate pero pwede pa rin ikaw mag-collaborate but take note of that ano limitation or or kumbaga scenario no okay so Ayan. So, Sir, meron tayo ditong question, no? Very okay. relevant naman. <laughs> How to start with the one with the one drive? Ayan. Do I have ah, okay. to sign in? Ayan. So, I think papunta na rin naman ah, si Sir Dutch sa kanyang okay. demo. So, ayan. Ayan. Mamaya demo. Okay. So, eh, ano ko lang itong framework or yung circle of life? Okay. So, sa team site, um, you can move it to another ano, um, team site. Usually kasi yung team site na to where we collaborate MS Teams usually sa atin doon tayo nagko-collaborate eh. or some 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 companies kasi they work mas nasanay sila hindi sa MS Teams eh nauna kasi yung SharePoint eh. they 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 use SharePoint for ano hindi sila sanay sa mga banners ganun okay well, banners sa mga channel hindi sila ganun eh but in education we find it ano useful also for for ano okay so that's why some companies they use SharePoint. Mas nasanay sila doon. Okay, but hindi naman ibig sabihin na hindi natin pwedeng gawin yung ginagawa ng mga ibang companies. May 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 purpose din yung SharePoint, no? Okay. So but it's important that you know the difference between the two. One drive ako to. Kumbaga, ako ako. Pag SharePoint, okay, tayo, tayo, tayo. We collaborate. Okay. So, you can also move copy to another site. Remember, SharePoint can be ano, um, another framework can be considered as a website, parang ganun, or a site, or kumbaga, it's another hub for, for collaboration. Okay. So, sometimes we iterate, iterate okay? Balik natin dun sa MS Teams. O, kapag okay na sa atin lahat, okay, we work on it and post it again, you can, sa SharePoint site. Okay, sometimes we delete it, okay, kung di na relevant yung file or the content, okay, and sometimes we give it to the owner, the original owner or initiator ng ano. So, you will have to work it again sa drive niya. Then, if ready na again, bibigay niya sa grupo, collaborate, eh, ganun yung circle ng document na. Okay, so para siyang nitrogen cycle no? for for ganun. Usually ganun tayo, di ba? Okay, una, na drop ako ng ano, lesson plan. Lesson plan. Ang lesson plan is hindi naman para talaga sa akin. Ah, well, para sa mga bata syempre. Pero nagawa ako ng lesson plan for the appreciation of my STL or my coordinator. Syempre, oh, ano 'yun? We collaborate. Pwede kaming mag ano, create ng ano sa team ng site or sometimes um, we want to show the lesson plan to other teachers okay and they can give, give comments also yun yung collaboration yun yung collaboration in education talaga no okay kumbaga lesson study no pwede yun and post it here. na syempre we don't post the website okay so sometimes may mga proposals give it to the team okay approve or a report okay send it to the site for dissemination okay then siguro iterate so ganun lang yan okay let's go to OneDrive no so you're now okay with the framework okay ganun na so so OneDrive me and them ay hindi pala them us okay yung SharePoint okay Okay, OneDrive is a cloud storage and file sharing for business education. Access, share, collaborate your files from anywhere. Siyempre, anywhere. Yun yung adv advantage ng OneDrive when it's cloud. I can access it anywhere. Basta may internet, siyempre. And yung nasa USB ko, I cannot access that one. I have to get it from my ano. So, siguro, let's, let's uh, debate na from that uh, mindset na we save it in our computer. Oh, siyempre, we... We also save it pa rin sa computer as a backup. Walang problem, walang problem doon. Okay, so you can also have one drive and you can also have a physical drive for backup. But kasi sa collaboration, hindi naman importante yung backup eh. Yung active file. So ma readily accessible by anyone. Hindi nasa hard drive mo. Okay, lalo na pag sinabi ng... Um, na may huming ibang tao 
na importante. Okay, so OneDrive. So you you have the app launcher. So sino yung nagtatanong kanina how to open OneDrive? Sige. Okay, paano yung OneDrive? Okay, ito yung OneDrive ko. And I will share to you my OneDrive. Okay, sorry. Here. Okay. Yan. So, okay. This is my, ano, this is my app launcher. So, so common. And we have here all my apps. And where's my OneDrive? Oh, the cloud, the cloud. Yan. Okay. Ayun. So, I open my OneDrive. It's just like your explorer, file explorer ng Windows, no? Same. Thing. Okay. So, this is my account. Here are my files. Here are my recent files. And here are my shared files. Okay, shared. And this is my recycling bin. My recycling bin din siya. Lahat ng mga ano. So, importante yung recycling bin. Okay, the recycling bin will help you kung nagbago yung isip mo. Uh, may nabura ka. May nabura ka. That's, uh, that's the savior means. Ano. Okay. Um, later, so you have the... Ano. Um, yung quick access, kung kititin mo, mga shared libraries yan. No? Shared libraries, no? kitita, SharePoint site yan technically. Eh. Okay, okay I have a SharePoint site here, two SharePoint site here. And also, if I go to my other account, okay, show ko lang yung other account ko kasi mas, mas, mas rich yun eh sa content, kumbaga. Okay, ay, saan na ba yun? Okay, ala, paano nga yun? Portal. Okay, I thought, I thought, this is my, ano, no, so, okay. Ayun, tingnan niya. Ang dami kong teams, no? So, so shared libraries, ang dami kong team. Eh, generally, these are MS teams. Okay, some are SharePoint site. Di ba sinabi ko kanina that MS teams are technically SharePoint site, no? So, you can create another. But, you can create another library. Kunyari, um, na bigla mo lang naisip, I, I want to create... Uh, library for sharing with my barkada or barkada. Pwede naman actually, no? Hindi naman barkada. Let's say, um, a group that will collaborate on something. Okay, sige. I want to collaborate with my students. Group one. Okay, group one for my PT. Pwede yan, no? So, okay, group one PT. Okay, for let's say, uh, be specific, third quarter kay bang grupo yan no okay so ngayon si Jinky is my ano Jinky is a member or my student okay i can add them here or i can also add the edtech coordinator i'm using my other account okay so pwede kunyari we collaborate on something okay lalabas yan okay that's not a, that's a shared library okay all right uy we can post um uh, files here Okay, documents. Okay. Oh, yun. Meron tayong, ano. Oh, yun. We can collaborate. Ano? Meron na tayong storage, common storage for anything. Okay. Okay. I'll Ayan, sir. Oh. Siguro, i-point out lang natin, no? Nung gumawa ka ng shared library, yung kanyang naging link ay oh. meron ng sharepoint.com. Oh, yan, nasa, yan, yun na yung nakasulat sa kanya kasi shared na siya. Shared so, kung na siya. individual mo lang siya, then... <clears throat> Yung pangalan mo lang yung lalab, per, naka, naka, ano pa siya, naka-personal mo lang siya, di ba? Yes, so, naka-personal. Pag pangalan mo, yung, ano, yung, anong point nun? <laughs> Ayan nga, you have to engage others to your site or to your SharePoint site. For you to collaborate, yung nga, something you provide on that collaboration table. Kumbaga, a file, a document, a video. So, ganyan. So, that's, this is very, you know, no, okay, important, okay, for, for us to, uh, okay, um, I'll go back to my files, no, ayan, sorry, um, these are my files, so, sorry, ito, para, para, para lang siyang, ano, para lang siyang, ano, tawag dito, um, file explorer, so, I think familiar kayo, files folder, file structure, no, okay, so, I can upload something, yes, I can upload a file or a folder, Okay, and I can just invoke a new document, pwede rin. Okay, Excel worksheet, then OneNote, pwede rin. Or a link. And ito yung forms for Excel, pwede rin to. You can create an, a form. Okay, uh, using this, this feature, no? Okay, para when I click that one, 
Okay, form, another form. form. Balik na naman tayo sa form. Pero, ayun, I'm gonna create. And, uy, I can create another form again using um, yung mga tips na binigay namin sa inyo kanina. So, another form. Uh -oh. It will replace And... also your form. Ito yung sinasabi ni Miss Chinky dati. Yes, uh -oh, sir. Tipunan ko rin sa kanya, no? no? Mas <laughs> maganda tong approach. Bakit? Yes. Kasi, Kasi magiging, ano, yung Excel niya, di ba? Ano na siya? Up, um, ano, automatic? Auto, yes. Auto, auto, ano tawag doon? Auto update, parang ganon. Auto update, yes. Oo, yan, totoo. Yan yung hinahanap ko noon. <laughs> na parang lately ko lang din yan nakita na, ah, mm -hmm. ito pala. Yeah. Yan, so instead of downloading the Excel from the forms, no, you can create your forms for Excel. Para, pareho na siya ng Google Forms, no, yung kapag meron silang spreadsheet na nakalink, automatic updated siya tuwing may nagre-respond doon yan. Okay, so, yun. excited ako gamitin yan this coming school year. <laughs> Kasi something new din siya sa akin talaga. Mm, uh, yun yun din. Isa magandang value din ng ano, malaman na yung, yung Yung the value of self-exploration. Yes. Yan, no? And syempre, chinika sa akin ni Miss Jinky. And that's collaboration and sharing na may natutunan din ako sa kanya. Um, kung may re-rate ko rin sarili sa Microsoft School, sigo, three ako ganyan. Marami pa rin tayo matututunan. And remember, nag-update si Microsoft and siguro kagapay will be also kagapay on giving you trainings for, for Microsoft also for this one. Okay, going back to OneDrive. Okay, so forms, I don't like these big folders. I can just make it on the list. Okay, mas sanay ako sa list. Okay, so... Okay, take note of the ano, ano take note of these um, details no. It was modified here, modified by me. Uh, file size yan yon, sharing. Uy, uh, there are private folders. Ayun. And one I have a shared folder. Okay, a DPO folder. Okay, another one submission. Okay. Yeah, and these are my files no. Okay, um importante is Uh, how will I share it, mga files? Akin to eh. So, so, ang important here is the three dots again. Okay? So, go, let's say, I want to share to Miss Chinky the beach recommendation document. Beach recommendation document. Okay, siguro I uh, want to share it to Miss Chinky. Okay, beside the beach recommendation document, there's this arrow and uh, right angle, kumbaga, and then. Okay, I want to share it to Miss Jinky, no? So, let's say, kunyari. Mm, okay, I'm prompted here to, ano, oh, hinihingi ni Miss Jinky yung beach recommendation, mga ganun. No? I can share or hinihingi niya. And she wants to access it. So, definitely, I need to add an access or send a link to her. Ayun na naman, link na naman. Okay, we share forms kanina via link, post it to, ano, other, ano. And ganito rin, we create links. And ang importanteng importante sa link is it should be secured, okay? No, hindi naman natin pwedeng ibigay basta-basta to kahit kanino. Okay, let's say yung beach recommendation, kumbaga, ano yan, stop secret yan eh. Get away ng faculty, no? Maka, magkamali ka ng ano. Alright, so I can opt to send it, uh, link to anyone and can edit. Uh, no, okay, wag. Um, hindi maganda mag-edit eh. Yung nga yung sabi ko sa OneDrive, eh. better put it in a SharePoint site, no? So, go, siguro si Miss Jinky wants to to see lang, no? But oh, you can also have the option to edit eh. Okay, anyone can be have a link that's not secured, okay? Mas gusto ko limit the person so accessing accessing your files, no? Okay, so let's say for a lesson plan, limit lang siguro sa coordinator. Siya lang naman kasi may legitimate interest sa lesson plan mo. Hindi mo naman pwede share lesson plan mo sa isang English teacher. Kung ma-teacher ka, wala naman legitimate interest, okay? So, um, anyone can link. Pwede rin naman, pero pwede kasi itong lumabas sa tenant, sa mga tenant natin. Anyone will link. Okay, if I put it, anyone in my tenant, Okay, pwede rin naman, pero baka dun sa outer circle lang ng ano, makakoy, mga register, baka makuha niya. I, I better share it with um, specific people or, or uh, people with existing access na. Okay, or better yun. Okay. Uh, um, you can also allow 
editing. Yeah. When you allow editing, they can collaborate. Okay? Pwede rin review mode. And also, um, yun, apply. Okay? Block download. Bakit kayo? Walang out. Can select a view pala. Okay. So, may option doon na ano. Okay? Can, can view mo yan? <laughs> to block download. Select can view download kung ayaw mo siyang i-download. Okay. So, review mode. Okay. Pwede naman apply. Allow editing. Sige. Off natin. Yun nga. If you don't allow editing, okay. And syempre, baka you opt also not na up, uh, for no download also. You can uh, yeah, mas, mas secure to. Miss Jinky will only see the document. And apply. Oops, I forgot to write. Miss Jinky. Okay. Okay. Hmm. There, another. Okay. Um, um, I can share it using Outlook. Pero knowing Miss Jinky, hindi masyado nag-check ng email yun. Baka may mga ganung ano, no? Okay, siguro Miss Jinky, yeah. Miss Jinky, kung gano'n, no? kasi minsan hindi siya ma-email. Mas sana siya sa chat, kumbaga, no? Or sa MS Teams. So, mas maganda, I can just copy the link. Okay. Yeah. Ayan, copy the link and send it to her. Okay, I can invoke the chat here and post it in the Microsoft teams like that. Okay. Or another one. Wag, wag, wag ka na, wag ka na, wag, na, wag ko na ipas sa messenger, no? Isang platform lang tayo. Okay. So, we can copy that one. Okay. Alright, teachers, no? So, it's already shared with Miss Jinky. Okay. Um, yan. Pwede sa email or I'll send it to her. Okay. So, she can view it also. Okay. Um, subukan natin mag-share. Sino mga other pa pwedeng nating i-share, okay? Can I share name, group, email? Pwedeng ano? Group, siguro grade. Pwede ba? Ayun, si grade 7, pwede kong i-send kay buong grade 7. <laughs> may mga ganyan eh. Minsan may mga groups tayo, ano? I Minsan yung admin ninyo, inano na eh. Kinohorts na or green up na yung mga students nyo into, yeah, Microsoft groups. So lumalabas sila dyan. Okay, so you can also grant access to them. But sometimes nga, again, one, this is one drive, no? One drive. Um, it's best for for you not to, ano, okay, uh, share it to, share it to a limited number of people only. For, ano, maybe I can post this one in the grade level teams. Okay, dang, dang, ano. Okay, all right. Um, ito pa, last technique. Okay, kumbaga. Uh, minsan, may problem tayo now. I want to have students um, submitting works directly to my OneDrive. Okay, kasi sobrang laki ng mga files nila. Hindi kaya doon, hindi kaya siguro sa ano. Hindi naman siya ganun ka doc, yung documents. Okay, so medyo malaki. So, one one way is uh, is to create a Dropbox. Okay, paano yung Dropbox? Um, di ba may app na Dropbox? Di ba, Miss Jiggy? May drop na. Can, drop yeah, it. may app. Uh, parang gano'n. Parang yung pang Dropbox rin ito. Pa, pero ang maganda sa Dropbox is the students can post, ay, or submit it okay, without ano, Kumbaga, me, okay, me only, uh, I can only view their submissions sa isang folder. Gusto ko nasa isang folder lang. Okay, so I attempted one like this one submission. If I click it, oh, open. Okay, yan yung mga sinabmit ko. Eh, well, well tinest ko lang siya. O, oh, yan, oh, puros mga sinabmit yan sa akin. Ako yung nag-submit and one of my colleagues also submitted. We tested this submission. Kaya kung titingnan nyo, dun sa attachment name, lumalabas yung pangalan ko, nilalagyan niya ng pangalan or kung sino yung nag-submit. No? So, one way to create something like that is create a folder. Okay, um, let's say... Um, Diba, mga performance tasks. PT movies. Okay. Yung ano, okay. PT for the third quarter. Uh, ano kayong mga lalaking files? Usually mga... <laughs> okay. Kung nag-create sila ng ano, no? Ano, um, okay. Um, a movie or a film. Okay. Great. Let's create. Oh, no. Okay. Where's that 
Ah, I want it here. Okay. So, pag in-open mo, syempre, oh, wala, wala, walang laman yun. Okay. So, ah, with provisions. I will not share it. I will not share it. Okay. I want to limit it only to myself, but it will retrieve files from my students. Okay. So, copy link, no? Ayun, request files. Okay. So, um... Let's have this one. What files are you requesting? Okay. Um, what files are you requesting? Okay. Short film. Short, short film for PTs. The third quarter. Kaya Filipino teacher ako. Filipino. I mean, Filipino. Okay, next. Okay. Ayun. Here's the link people can use to upload your files. So, ganun lang naman yan eh. Okay, anyone can, with the link, can upload the file. Or you can name na naman any individual group via email. Again, email, pwede rin. But sometimes kasi yung engagement sa email, mababa eh. No? Better send them um, the copy link or the link to to a chat directly. Na para ma-notify agad sila. Ganun na eh. Pwedeng... Pwede sa Microsoft Teams. Okay. Pwede siya SharePoint site also. Okay. So, that... Yung iba, sir, ano, ginagawa dyan, nilalagay nila sa assignment tab. O, oh, yun. Assignment so, tab. So, that, kung baga, uh, may way ka na makita kung sinilip na nung bata yung assignment tab. Tapos, uh -uh. mapapasok na rin nila dun yung yung, yung uh, file na kailangan nila. Okay. Uh, may ganun ang ginagawa. Okay. So, let's Oh, tama, tama is Miss Jinky. No, that's one one way to deploy the this Dropbox, the assignment tab. Uh, but, syempre, pag sa assignment tab, hindi naman siya masasave sa ano, tama Jinky. No, hindi naman siya masasave sa SharePoint. Then, no, then, ano, then, kasi then. nga, this is a link to yeah. your Drive account. Yes. Okay. Pag assignment siya na inupload, then the SharePoint siya. Oh, yun, SharePoint siya. Yes. Ganun, ganun yung ano, ganun yung storage policy niya. Yes. Okay, so, um, saan, saan na ba tayo? Oh, let's test. Okay, open. I, I copied. Okay, share po. Okay, ba yun? Ayun. Yeah. Uh, Euro is requesting files for short term. Filipino. Okay, select the files. And, okay, kunyari, ito yung movie na. So, open ko lang siya. Oh, okay, upload ko na. Okay, ko na. I uploaded ano na, not the movie ah, pero an Excel for, for, for demonstration purposes lang. Oh, okay, let's go back. Tingnan nga natin. May nangyari pa sa ano. Uy, meron. May one item, no? Few seconds ago. So, ayun. Ayun, si Sir Andy nag-submit ng... Okay. Or si Student Andy nag-submit ng... Yeah. Ang gustong-gusto ko dito, sir, kasi yung pangalan nila lumalabas. Oh, yun po. <laughs> Markado oh, oh. sila. Yes. Oh, oh. Lalo yes. na kapag if they submitted using, syempre, yung account nila. No, lalabas agad yung name nila. Kaya minsan pag kunyari may bata na, means na-upload ba yung file ko? <laughs> Hindi sila sigurado kung na-upload nila. Yan. Madaling matrace kasi makikita mo agad dun sa file name pa lang. Nilalagay na agad yung name ng owner. Yeah. Oh, so so that's one drive no so yun yung concept niya it's me it's all your files but um, collaboration pa rin is uh, possible okay engagement pa rin pwede we engage the students by getting their data and submit okay working on it on I don't know. We can collaborate pa rin naman but uh, yun nga you have a free hindi naman free it's at the paid pa rin. So, 5 terabyte like uh, digital online USB or drive for all your files, no? Okay. So, paano naman yung SharePoint? Okay. Um, uh, bibilisan ko na lang, no? So, kunyari, I have this one, no? Okay, SharePoint. Okay. It's an intranet, okay? It's a network also. Share management content, knowledge, application to empower teamwork, quickly find information, seamlessly collaborate across the organization. Ha? Across organization. Yun yung keyword dun is across the organization. Medyo malawa kasi ang SharePoint, no? kung titingnan mo, like sa MS Teams, sometimes we limit it to ano, a few people. Pero pwede naman yung MS Teams din malaki. 
Okay. Pero, um, yun nga, sinasabi ko, um, SharePoint can be an alternative, ano, kumbaga, uh, deployment hub for your, ano. Okay. Yun nga, may, may, may scenario ako kanina, you know, we have a big authentic school project in recycling and we need to collaborate with other members of the community and other guest experts on the subject matter. We need a communication a central hub for communication, collaborating on documents, sharing of resources, reviewing literature, and planning LGU presentation. Diba usually, ganun yung mga project-based, ano, mga ano, project-based tasks. O minsan, it go beyond the pro, pro, ano, performance task. And, okay. Pwede mag-start just first quarter, second quarter. I mean, ganun. Okay. An MS team channel devoted to the project in a subject team or subject is not enough. Okay, so pwede rin naman. Okay, you can also um, train um, your students or uh, syempre, una muna teachers gagamit before um, students to use SharePoint. Also, okay, uh, ano yung mga ano niya? Kasi, uh, you can have a team site communication site and a school intranet, no? Okay, when you create a web a SharePoint site, dalawa lang yung PP, uh, no, options mo eh, no? A team site Parang MS Teams, no? You can share document, have conversation with your team, keep track of events, manage tasks, and more with a site connected to a group. Okay, yun yung keyword dun. It's connected to a group. May group siya. Okay, so... Pag-communication site naman, medyo simple, no? It's just a dynamic, beautiful content to uh, people in your organization to keep them informed. This is a communication. This is a plain website. Parang ganon, pero more than a plain website. No? So, okay. So, anong aim for a team site? For a group of people to collaborate more. Kaya nga, um, kung titingnan mo, um, ang MS Teams is a collaboration of a uh, uh, group of people work together. But definitely, when you create a communication site, uh, may collaboration pa rin dito kasi because you need to work on the content, okay? So, the purpose of the communication site is to broadcast information to the wide group of people, no? Di lang siguro sa few. So, later makikita natin kung anong magandang purpose or magandang application for this one. Okay, for team site, lahat tayo, editors. Most likely, all members are editors on website. Pero for a communication site, only few, Okay. So, who are the readers in their team site? Okay, so technically, all the part of your team are the audience, no? <laughs> Parang siyang active audience, eh. Receiver of information, also creator of information or outputs, okay? Pero sa communication site, wide ang audience, okay? Company-wide, but not necessarily everyone will be, ano, uh, setting up the communication site. Hindi ganun, Okay. So, the impact will be, okay, tama, meron siyang Office 365 group. Like yung mga groups natin sa MS Teams, yun, there are groups. Na pwede nga, no, when you search for a send link, di ba, lumalabas yung grade 7, ganyan. Yun yung mga groups na, ano, natin. Eh. Yung mga cohorts na sinasabi ko kanina. Okay. So, we have plan, ano. Okay, uh, ang impact naman for a community, wala lang. Hindi naman sa wala. I mean, it's, this is just a site. Okay, kami, wala siyang group. Okay, so hindi mo mahahanap yung ano. Okay? Alright. So, ano yung application nito? Okay, I, I listed one. Okay, kapag collaboration site, it can be an alternative classroom hub. <laughs> Kung sawa na kayo sa Microsoft Teams and you want to explore other stuff. Okay, pwede siyang gamitin for clubs. Okay? Ayan, extracurricular activities. No? Ayan, project-based learning. School activities planning, pwede rin yun. Kasi, syempre, sa subject mo naman, ha, ayaw mo naman ilagay yung planning na yun. No matter, okay, put it on another place, okay, where they can collaborate. And sometimes, school, school activity will demand uh, more members to collaborate, no? Okay. And also, hindi lang mga bata, school-wide organization can be, you know, like, um, mga administration, staff, they're reviewing the curriculum, like that. Okay, that's that's one another. Okay, here's an example of uh, what? A collaborative uh, site. No? So, <laughs> I create lang ako ng ano, virtual fair <laughs> site. 
Okay, later I'll show you. Okay, kung titingnan niyo ano ba nandito. Para lang siya sa ano eh, SharePoint ng Teams, no? Okay, when I open Teams para okay ganito yan. When I open Teams, okay, I'll go go to to my Teams, no? Okay. Ano ba to? Ay. Okay. Okay. Um go to Teams. Okay, yan yan. All right. Uh, I'll go to our ano. Ayun. Okay, so these are teams no. So a team is also technically a SharePoint site. So when we go to the three dots in the option in the general channel, you can open the corresponding SharePoint site for these teams. So I'll open natin, okay? It will invoke the browser. Okay, kung titingnan mo, nandiyan lahat ng mga ano, content ng ano. Okay. So it's like a team site for ano. So, sino ano ano man nandito? I can upload documents here. Oh, this is your ano, kumbaga level up one drive, <laughs> two drive, three drive, four drive, n drive. Oh, so marami kasi nagko-collaborate nila siya one, hindi siya ano. So, I can upload it here. Okay, siguro I can upload yung files na kanina ay na finish na ni Jinky yung beach recommendation and I can post it here for uh, Okay, and then there are ano shared, okay. Um, ano ba dito? Mga activities. Okay. Ang ano to. Um, mga listings. Okay. Notebook. Ayun. Nandun pala yung note. And inbook niya another browser for the notebook. Oh, no? Okay. Since it's a collaboration site. No? Yan yung, yung notebook. And these are the people with inside the team. Okay. So, uh, going back to the, ano, I go back to the SharePoint site. Okay, um, you have the pages, yung site, yan. Okay, kumbaga, technically, it's a web page. Okay, class materials, no? Yan, yung mga, ano, distributed, um, shared document nung klase namin. Okay, okay. So, and other site contents that you need to, ano, Okay. So, yan, yung mga other assets, students' work. Uy, may students' work. Bakit pa yan? Ano itong students' work na to? So, remember, yung site namin, we use assignments, no? We yeah. use assignments. So, dito lumalabas lahat ng students' work. No? And, and so, pandami niya. 1,977. And yes, nga, sleepin lang natin. Wow. So, Dalawa kasi wala, yan, sir. Ayan, hati yeah. yan eh. Hati yan eh, di ba? Uh, dyan lumalabas yung, ano, ano tawag dito? Um, yan yung mga submitted works ng bata and working files. Siguro working files are the drafts, no? Not yes, yet. yes. Okay, and ito, ito, ito yung mga students ko, mga teachers. Okay, submitted files. And yan. Okay? So, uh, again, you can use um, SharePoint uh, to access yung mga relevant files na nangyayari or na share dun sa MS Teams. Okay. And if you want the recordings of your meetings, nandito rin. Okay? Nandito rin. Um, the, may meetings ba tayo nito? nito? Ay, I forgot na. Pero, sige. Uh, I, I can show you one class siguro for, for ano. Let's open a SharePoint site na may class. Kunyari, siguro may meetings. Ano kayo maganda? Ito na lang. Okay, open. Okay. And let's share it. Siguro this is a level team. And site content. And site assets. I have to go to your gallery. Nako, Jinky. Call a friend. Saan kaya yung ano nun? Uh, documents ba yun? Okay. Ayun, siguro nandito, no? Yan, yan sir. Kung saan ang channel. Uh, uh, orientation, mga ano. I don't know. Baka na dyan, somewhere Kung, there. Opo. Ayun, Kung saan okay. sila nag-meeting na channel, doon siya. Okay. Ayun. Kung yun yan, lang. sacred space yeah. yan, pwede. Uh, minsan wala eh. Uh, wala Kasi silang recording siguro. A morning assembly <laughs> siguro. Ayun. So, mga mga recordings. Meron. Ayan, no. Ayan yung mga may... I will not open it na lang because okay, yung privacy na mga ano. But these are the recordings of your meeting. So, technically... You have MS Team in front, reception, the facade. 
Pero the back office or the storage nasa SharePoint. So, kung titingnan mo. This is a team site, no? Okay. So, don't forget. This is a team site. Okay. Ayan. So, at least you have an idea na how SharePoint works, no? Okay. As compared to OneDrive. Okay. I'll close this now. Na. Okay. I'll go back to my PowerPoint again. Okay. So, um, another one. Okay. Um, a communication site. Okay. Ano ba maganda yun? Just information. Okay, information site, dissemination. So, you can have school activity promotion, school publication, research publication, office or department site, okay, advocacy awareness, or community interest group. Okay, so, okay, here an example, no? May issue, eh, minsan, eh, no? You can create a topic, no, or advocacy on waste, waste management, okay? O pwede rin itong piti ng bata, create an information site, Okay, so put it there. So we can share it to the whole community kung ano yung mga discussion nyo on waste management, suggestions, plans for the school. O paano po, big project based. No? So, so uh, uh, I'll show you my ano. So remember, how do you get to, how do you go to SharePoint? No? So go again to your ano, site. Okay, and this is my SharePoint site. Okay, so... Aulitin natin, no? SharePoint, click SharePoint. Parang SharePoint, parang si Sway, no? Pareho, pareho yung S. Okay, be careful. SharePoint site. So, ato. Okay, let's let's go to the school management. Okay, papiaw lang to. Ah, papiaw pa. Paano lang to, no? Okay, yan. So, I created, mayroon siyang link na pinost, no? So, yun yung purpose niya, no? So, I wait, I close it again. Okay, so there, these are just news pala. Okay, these are news. Okay, so activities coming from the site. So these are not the site itself, no? Okay, so the sites are actually this one. So go to the virtual fair. Okay, yeah, no? So dito na magko-collaborate yung mga bata, no? So it's a web page, no? Okay, so they can add documents. Okay, and don't talk about the fair. Okay. And you can add widgets, widgets yata. When you edit the, ano, this this requires some knowledge on parang web editing or no. Hindi naman coding but the the editor. No? So when you edit like this, ano, you can you can create widgets, no. Kunyari, ito, when you add, uh, kunyari, a page, this is the page, no. You can add ang dami. Okay, you can add image, a YouTube, as another site, a calendar, a countdown timer, syempre. Okay, a button and other text media content listed. Hindi ko na muna to di-describe. Pero Ganda. you uh, first to time ko din yan makita oh, sa oh. So, 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 so kunyari, ako nag-attempt lang for five minutes, no? Ito, kunyari, fair, uh, fair uh, ideas. Oh, yan, yun yung countdown ng fair natin. Ah, ito yung mga, ano, no? Sino to? Status, task left. So, mga, para, para sa mga bata to. Okay, so, so this is this is not yet the school fair na ano ah, na yeah. na site but this is just for collaboration para for 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 everyone to be engaged. So syempre naman na engage sila kapag merong countdown timer, merong image ganyan and merong Twitter. So late, later I'll, I'll show you. As compared to the other communication site, this is collaboration no. So you you explore na lang. So um, I think um Tagapa will also give some trainings in the future. Oh, oh, we can so, also do that. Oh, oh. So, Mukhang siksik so, pa siya. <laughs> no, this is intranet. Uh, intranet, no? Sometimes kasi mga teachers, they use Facebook, no? To 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 create siguro mga sites or groups. But, yun nga lang kasi yung privacy nun, eh, Facebook. Yes. Ano, maganda kung nandito lang atenan. Kayo-kayo lang muna, di ba? All right, so so you you protect the privacy also ano dito. Minsan na you have to curate first the information. Pag nasa Facebook na kasi nabitawan mo na nako ang dami pang comment. So maganda. And last, okay, I will give you the ano ano tawag dito. Ano yun? Inform I know, sorry. The the last one. Okay. The ito. Ayun. So, this is just a website. No? <laughs> Gumawa lang ako ng mga news. Wala to. There, there, there are no documents. Oh. Saan ko lalagay yung document? Ah, pwede rin pala. 
can add pages, documents, no? Pero wala man, this is just for information, no? Okay? Remember, walang mga groups dito, no? Walang mga tao. You can share it like this. Okay, yan. Same, okay, share. Okay? Oh, so let's say I can share to grade 10. Kasi yung PT nila, yan, grade 10. Okay, I can share it with, you know, to the whole school, okay? Yeah, the whole school, yung A, uh, assumption. Basta nandito yung assumption. Okay, so, so you can create, no? So, you can republish and edit and, yun, add those, ano, yun, those parang blogs, okay, and sites. Okay, so, you can also add news. Yun, mabilis mag-add ng news. Parang siyang blog, no? The, the old school blog, Okay, and you can add events. Okay, well, may webinar pala tayo on waste management. Okay, okay. Well, this is very simple. Pero remember, you can share this to your to your community. And remember also, okay, um, to yung yung sphere ng scope ng ano natin, um, sharing. Okay, so I think uh, you have an idea now of ano. Uh, Okay, medyo ni-skip ko na yung mga iba kong slide because of that. Okay lang yan, oh, sir. Okay, sige, wrap up ko na lang. Oh, uh -huh. sige, so, but, uh, for, for teachers, no, the biggest takeaway, no, uh, Microsoft 365 is a rich platform for managing a collaboration and engagement for learning. Okay naman, na, remember, um, the tools that you have, you have all the tools for to engage the student, but generally you're, you're the teacher to design those engagement or learning experiences. Okay, it matters most for them. Okay, um, no, don't forget you you can share at will. Okay, that's collaboration, but always take control of your files. Ingat din sa mga share natin. Okay, uh, okay, take advantage of the ubiquity of the cloud storage. Yun, importante. Okay, cloud storage so you can, um, ano, um, Pass transfer of information or files to. Okay, so eto ma comment ko lang for students to sustain engagement and use of app in their learner knowledge on how to use the platform is critical. So important rin syempre for you the students to use the platform. Important teacher muna matuto. Okay, gumamit. Okay, if the teachers use the platform, then I think the students will embrace them also. Okay, because mabilis rin matuto yung mga estudyante. Oh, uh, super mabilis. Okay, um, if you want to inspire, you can continue innovating. Okay, when, okay continuing innovation in an online teaching starts here. Be part of it. There's a Microsoft Education Center there. Okay, so teachers, you can visit. Ang daming ano dito, information if you want to accept training. And also, we have some good friends to support us along the way. Thank you for the um, Kagapay Teacher Support Group for giving me the, um, the opportunity to share my knowledge. Medyo rough yung start ko, so but uh, siguro nung la later part, dun ko na feel yung engagement ne. So parang ano na rin. Okay, so I think it's. Uh, ho hope you learned something from from my sharing. And what's an action plan for us? And use teachers, dear, dear teachers, use the platform and explore and learn through usage and collaborate and engage to learn more. Okay, so yeah, thank you. Happy to share for. for Okay. Maraming maraming salamat Sir Andy no? at uh, dahil dyan kay may nabubuo ng mga webinars sa atin. <laughs> may uh, August na. Uh, yes, may August na. Puno na kagad yung August natin dahil dyan teachers. No? So agad teachers na no, siguro uh, isang munang uh, masigabong virtual palakpakan at uh, pagbati no kaya uh, Sir Andy no may alam natin medyo kinubahan si Sir Andy doon sa simula no uh, as a teachers um Sir Andy you know it's, it's it's his first time uh, in a live webinar like this okay? and uh, pero nakita niya naman teachers no yung willingness niya at saka enthusiasm at saka ano niya no generosity to share what he uh, he has no at what he knows as uh, as an expert in this uh, tool so maraming maraming salamat ulit Sir Andy no and um, siguro sir uh, dahil walang time siya doon time no so for uh, question answer a uh, quick question answer uh, let's now proceed with um uh, miss jinky no 
uh, uh, if you don't mind, kay, um, as a as a form of appreciation, kay, uh, let's uh, present uh, this um, this certificate of appreciation to um, to Sir Andy for um, sharing his um, uh, invaluable um, um, input for today for our teachers. Okay. Let me you. just uh, share yeah. that. Let's, uh, Ms. Jinkip, can you please read the citation for um, Sir Andy? Ayan, okay. So, Certificate of Appreciation. This Certificate of Appreciation is respectfully awarded to Andreo S. Ayuro for sharing his knowledge and expertise in the recently concluded webinar entitled Managing Collaboration and Student Engagement Using MS SharePoint, OneDrive, and Forms. Awarded on June 24, 2021, signed by the different Kaagapay Teacher Support Administrators. Thank you, Sir Andy. And thank you. Mulit thank mulit, you, Sir you. Andy. Maraming maraming salamat. No? Um, siguro, Sir Andy, before tayo, before ka namin no, pagpahingahin kasi that's uh, a full three hours of sharing. Uh, yeah. Maybe like, um, like um, a, a, a message no, um, to, to our teachers, okay, to our live viewers right now. Um, um, something to say or something to to encourage them about. Go ahead, Sir Andy. Ayun. Okay. Thank you po sa lahat na umaten. Yung nga, uh, kahit rap yung start ko. Um, I said it na siguro dun sa mga last slide ko, no? For, for, for ano. Um... Maganda talaga you learn from the system. Okay, learn, uh, discover, and collaborate. And usually, ganun naman ginawa namin nung assumption nung, uh, nung first year namin. It was a rough start. <laughs> Parang ako, rough start din talaga. <laughs> yung first quarter namin, ano, eh, grabe. Pero yun nga, eh, it's the collaboration with the yes. teachers. The, the ano and I think siguro with the support din ng admin and the desire to learn more and also yung ano na rin siguro the yung knowledge everywhere that you can get from people like uh, Sir Franco and other ano like you some YouTubers then oh you can you ano you can you can learn but uh, you can learn the theory, the content. Pero syempre, pag di na pumunta na dun sa classroom, minsan nakakabal. Uh, pag ano rin yung unang, unang deliver, uh, delivery. But, masasanay ka rin, okay? Just like me, minsan, una ko tong, ano online, ano, nagpapalpiti talaga ako kanina. Pero nung ano, nagkaroon ng, ano, no, yeah, resurgence. And siguro yun yung ano rin, ang engagement. Ganon din. Sa engagement ng bata, sa simula, ayaw nila. Very resistant sila. Kinakabahan din sila. Oh, oh. Pero as as teachers also, you have the tools also to to ano, parang ma-earn yung trust nila to be to be confident also to use the system to engage in your content. Okay. Maraming maraming avenues oh, to increase engagement. Okay. So, and don't forget also to manage collaboration, no? Siyempre, yung sharing natin. The keyword is sharing lagi, no? So, sa face-to-face, -face, pwede tayong mag-share real-time. Pero in, in online also, real-time pwede yun mangyari. Okay? So, so uh, just be confident in using the tools. From, uh, um, engage yourself in self-discovery. Okay? Ganun rin na kasing ginawa namin, ni. Eh. Okay, nung time namin, nung una pa, wala pang kaagapay. Tama ba, Sir Franco? Ano? Okay, so kami-kami rin lang. Eh, oh, nag, ano, okay, nag, ano, nagtitrain sa sarili-sarili nila. Ay, sa amin, sa amin. I mean. Okay, so don't forget always, collaborate. And yun din naman survival natin sa mga panahon nito. Eh. Ang pandemya, eh, collaborate, no? With our families, with our Yes, agree with that. Okay, so yeah. yun yan. Hindi to 20, not a 21st century skill kasi parang nilimit mo na sa 20, it's a forever skill or for, ano, for, kumbaga, for us teachers. For us teachers. Yeah. Educators, yeah. Teachers yeah. and Educators. for the student. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, again, uh, thank you, but thank you, but thank you, thank you. Thank you. That, no, okay. comprehensive, no. So teachers, okay. Tantayin muna kay Sir Andy ngayon, pagkapahingay natin siya para makarelax sa po siya no, from his uh, <laughs> comprehensive no, no. and, and lengthy 
uh, discussion. Okay, so Mali please, sir, Andy. <laughs> Marami sa akin, sir, Andy. And uh, hope to see you again. Okay, um, kasi marami na po nag-request ng mga follow-up sessions. No? So again, maraming yeah, salamat sa it's, it's, and we'll nice see you again. It's nice to hear parang na ano rin, na-engage din sila sa my Oh, oh sir. So, definitely, so, uh, definitely, definitely. Uh, yung pahapyaw so, yeah. so, na rin. Yes, sir. So maraming salamat ulit, sir Andy. Oh, so, thank sir you, Andy, thank you. So, we'll park you now at the backstage no, para makapagpahinga na po kayo and uh, we'll uh, you, now proceed to the evaluation part of our session for today. So again, teachers, let's now bid goodbye to sir Andy. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you, teachers. Good night po. Okay, sa lahat. Okay. Salamat, sir. Yan. Okay, um, so maraming salamat, no? And uh, yun pa lang, no? dami na kagad. No? Puno na kagad yung August natin dahil doon, no? Okay, uh, parang kailangan natin isang session form, MS Forms, kay isang session, I think marami naging interested kay SharePoint. Okay? Yeah. Uh, honestly, Sobra, ako. Yes. Para siyang ano din sa akin na, wow, oh my God. Yeah, teachers, no? Lagyan sa chat. Uh, hashtag SharePoint kung gusto natin gawin yung uh, webinar na kagad yung SharePoint na yan. I think sobrang laki ng potential niyan, okay? both as a uh, communication uh, device as well as uh, assessment sure. device. I think pwedeng, pwedeng ipagawa sa mga sudyante natin yes. yan, no? yung yes. uh, sa, sa SharePoint na for example, magpapasas ka like a portfolio, I'm thinking like portfolio yeah. assessment or um, collabor Kapagawin collaboration. Kapagawin mo ng website, yeah. ganyan. Yeah, pwede, yeah, pwede. No? So, ang dami na, okay? Uh, I can see a lot of um, ano, no? Um, hashtag SharePoint, no? So, I think we'll have to commit to that and do that. Now, teachers, um, we will definitely no, schedule that. No? Uh, SharePoint MS Forms okay, for August. Kasi puno na po ang ating ano. ano. Pero siguro, Miss Jinky, would you like to give us, before tayo siguro mag-evaluation, would you like to give us like what's coming up this Saturday? Because I think uh, this is the end of the June series, the Microsoft series, and we have reserved the best for last perhaps. No? Go ahead, sir, uh, Miss Jinky. Ayan, okay. So for our last installment of the June series about Office 365, we have um, on Saturday, no, 2 to 4.30 p.m., spark cre Sparking Creativity. So we will be talking about uh, PowerPoint, no? Um, syempre dito sa PowerPoint mas madami na rin alam ang mga teachers natin no? so we will be um, hopefully moving farther pa from just the basic no ano pa yung mga pwede nila makita how is the PowerPoint of the Office 365 different from the static PowerPoint that they may have no? na naka-install lang sa PC nila kung sakali and then we have this one no mukha po siyang SharePoint no pero magkaiba po sila no this is a uh, Sway no, Microsoft's way is, uh, I think, makikita din natin yung similarity niya na para din siyang um, site no, of sorts. No? But it is also another way to, um, kumbaga, a digital storyteller of sorts. And so Microsoft's way is something to look forward to. And then the last but not the least, ito po ay aking um, personal favorite, no, ang uh, Microsoft OneNote. Ayan. So makikita din natin paano nagagamit yung uh, one note no sa um, hindi lang actually sa creativity no but kung saan-saan pa natin siya pwedeng gamitin kanina may mga nagtatanong about portfolios no the one note is also a good option no para mag maging um, storage ng portfolio ng mga bata ayan so yan ang ating tatlong applications no um, ngayon pala kinikinita ko na feeling ko baka mamaya bitin na naman tong ano natin, isang session natin for this. Hindi, hindi, ano, no, hindi natin in-expect na talagang sobrang, ano, ang dami din talagang nilang gusto malaman about this. But uh, we will see, no, but definitely these three, no, are something that we will look forward to on Saturday. Ayan. Yes, indeed, no. At uh, again, we're, we're ending the June, the June series uh, with the bang. Okay, uh, definitely something to watch out for. No? Uh, at saka teachers, no, yun sabi nga ni Miss Jinky kanina, baka sabi nila, eh, alam ko na yung PowerPoint na yan. Ako, teachers, sinasabi ko sa inyo, pag nalaman nyo kung ano yung i-discuss dyan, okay, baka yan pa ang maging isa sa pinakamalaking revelation ng June series sa inyo. So, abangan natin yung uh, June series, yung uh, last, ano, last installment of our, uh, ano, no, at, at mukhang si Sir Andy ay manonood, no? At, I think, required siyang manonood, okay? Or yes. Else, <laughs> ba, hindi pwedeng, baka uh, ma-outside ma ako lang po si, si Sir oh. Andy pag hindi siya manonood ng session na to, no? You'll find out, teachers, na no? on Saturday, why, okay? Uh, so, teachers, uh, ito na po ang ating uh, evaluation link para sa gabi nito. 
uh, please um, uh, enter okay, uh, HTTPS. I changed the link now, teachers, no? Kasi uh, for now lang naman, uh, usually I use uh, Bitly uh, shortener. So usually you see the Bitly, but now we're using tinyurl.com MS365 Part 3 for your evaluation because Bitly right now is having a problem, no? Uh, down yata yung site nila. So you can't access um, all links created via Bitly. So if you're accessing, by the way, no, uh, the links, previous links the, using Bitly from other webinars from last week, you might be having a hard time. So please just uh, wait for it to, uh, to, uh, no, no, to um, for Bitly to fix its uh, website. No? But for now, let's, uh, and also by the way, teachers, no, let us know if it works. Okay? Um, and then, uh, make sure that your uh, your name and your details are correct, uh, teachers. No, because that will have repercussions on us sending you your certificates. Okay, so make sure that that's also correct. Okay, um, and siguro no, Miss Jinky, Miss Jinky talaga pa formal no pag nasa pag naka live no. Ah, <laughs> uh, tayo ay naka team yellow ngayon. Yan. Okay, may revelation kami ni Miss Jinky. Just kidding. Um, Miss Jinky, gusto ko lang silang ding um, inform no what's coming up for July, okay? We have a massive uh, eight session, okay, for July, okay? So it's stuck with um, under one uh, team for July. It's called, uh, our team for July, you know, our July series, okay, will be uh, Distance Learning 2.0, okay? Since we are already in the second year of the pand uh, pandemic school year, no? Um, so our, um, our July series, okay, where we all started, Miss Jinky, you know, this is the month, where we when we had our first ever webinar okay so we are restarting teachers now okay we're we're now uh, come full cycle now our first webinar was july 4 2020 okay and our first webinar now uh for the july series will fall on july 8 okay uh, that will be on introduction to chatbot for education using facebook messenger can you imagine that miss jinky doing a full lesson via messenger okay like a wow, full lesson, like videos, without using any other application. We know how important that is because many of our students yes. have access to Messenger. Okay, we know, of course, it's it's going to be much better if it's MS Teams, okay, yes, or um, <laughs> or Google Classroom. Okay, of course, we'll we'll have to uh, to endorse our uh, own ano, ano, uh, tools. Okay, but for those who have no access to these tools, okay, Messenger is perhaps the go-to, and we're going to bring you the the concept of chatbot which allows you to conduct a lesson, full lesson. I'm telling you, teachers, no, full lesson via Messenger, okay? No joke about that, okay? We'll be following that up with um, a session on increasing and promoting student engagement. We have an international speaker for this, and I'm so excited about that, okay? Uh, followed by, after that, we're also going to have supporting learning through formative assessments, um, Kahoot quizzes, and explain everything, okay? Um, we, know, we know how to use them, but... How to elevate the use of Kahoot and quizzes and explain everything that's going to some do be something that you have to uh, find out as well. Uh, for the teachers, uh, on July 17, we're going to have uh, effective management of the digital classroom by yours truly. I'll be handling that. Okay, and of course, some other guests, no, uh, guest speakers, no, where we're also going to invite, no, uh, to uh, to um, um, help us, no, uh, understand how to manage the digital classroom like uh, routines, etc., procedures, and so on and so forth, okay? And, ang pinakaabangan ng marami, no, at marami na nag-request, a complete walkthrough ng Google Jamboard, okay? Saya na, okay? And, uh, of course, also, we're going to have another one on uh, digital education, okay? What does it mean for students and teachers uh, about uh, digital education, no? digital citizenship, digitalization, etc., okay? And um, second to the last for July series, we'll be talking about uh, Ultimate Guide to Google Chrome. Okay, so lahat na kailangan nyo malaman about Google Chrome, tips and tricks, okay, uh, advanced um, uh, features, etc. And the last one would be, I think, pinaka, is a pinaka useful thing for teachers, creating video lessons, okay, process, techniques, and tools, okay. So we have invited uh, teachers who are uh, experts, you know, and um and uh, used to making video lessons, okay? Uh, using PowerPoint presentation and okay, other tools, okay? Ah, sorry po. Baka hindi lang nabago ng no, Pastor Manny. I'm going to look into that, okay? Uh, baka hindi lang po namin nabago yung ano. Pero that's correct po. That's a correct um, um, evaluation thing, okay? So, 
Go on lang kay teachers, kahit iba yung title, okay? I'm going to change that later on. Okay, um, and also teachers, let me now uh, post this, okay? Our uh, achievement code, okay? Let me just uh, put that in a banner for easy, um, okay? This is the achievement code uh, from uh, Miss Jinky and that's uh, uh, Sir Andy. Okay, so again, teachers, do not forget it's going to cover the. <laughs> and lang, let's uh, try to manage that. Okay. Let me um, teachers for a while. Okay, let me just uh, scroll that below. Okay, teachers, I'm showing also below the screen the achievement code. No, let me also put that in the chat comment uh, in our yes. um, chat. Okay. Um, this the achievement code teachers is for your Microsoft transcript. Okay, don't forget that you can you will have two certificates. No, one from uh, Kagapay Teacher Support by uh, answering that uh, link uh, tinyurl.com/ms365part3, um, and if you use your achievement code for your Microsoft transcript, you will also receive another certificate. Okay, let me just put it there in a the chat. Yan. Okay, maraming maraming salamat. Yan. Teacher Lilibet, the achievement code has already been posted. Okay, right there. Okay. Yan. Okay, thank you, Teacher Liberty. Uh, salamat po na excited kayo sa ating July series. Okay. So, we have packed that with so much. No? Um, let me also put here where to um, log in for a while. Yes, Sir Richard. Um, yung last week, meron din yung certificate no, from Microsoft. Uh, I think, Sir Franco, nasa ano po ba? Description? Yes. Okay. It's in the description Ayan. of the video and also the uh, link uh, via our um, uh, uh, page, no? uh, KTS page. Yan. So, pwede nyo dun tignan, Sir Richard. Okay. Okay, so uh, I think, um, Ms. Jinky, any other last words or reminders for our teachers okay, before we let go? Yes, uh, teacher Colin, for a while. <laughs> let me fix that. No? Uh, I already been informed about that. Okay. Uh, let me fix it now okay, so that our teachers are not confused. I think I was not able to, uh, to change it. Kasi dapat talaga sa MS Forms ginawa eh. Para mas... <laughs> diba? <laughs> Oo. Nako, wala pang pong ano, Microsoft account si Franco para mag-redeem na <laughs> hindi siya gumagawa. <laughs> I think that's the last throw. If I make an account okay, that could spell out like, uh, like uh, baka mahigit ako. Okay, so, I'm not doing, I'm not creating an account uh, to protect myself. <laughs> to protect myself. <laughs> Ayan. So again, reminders lang po sa teachers natin, no. There will only be 200 no achievement codes available, no. So kumpaga ang perception natin is that there are 200 na participants. Ayan. So whether it's during the live or sa um, team replay. So make sure po no na makapag-redeem agad kayo para din um Hindi kayo maubusan ng achievement code. Ayan. Okay na ba, Sir Franco? Na palitan mo na ba? Yes. That has already been edited. Okay? So, uh, that's already a correct one. Let me just uh, edit also the um, and put our um, link, no? So that our teachers could easily log in. Edit that. Okay. Okay, so um Okay. Okay, I just added no um yeah, the, the, okay. The, ano, okay. The, the link, okay? So that our teachers would know, okay? Teachers, uh, we'll leave you at that. And uh, again, maraming maraming salamat for joining us today. Uh, we hope to see you again uh, on Saturday for the last installment of our...
um, June series. Okay? So, maraming salamat and have a, have a nice evening, teachers. No? Uh, I'll see you again. Bye-bye!